Welcome to this Halloween edition here in the Negative Zone, where everything is not how it once was here on Slice and Dice. I am the tortured soul of the DM, uh, and I've come from a future that is quite unlike the one you'll know, where uh, everyone is uh, forced to be pigeonholed into tears depending on where they live where children are made to go hungry in the the holidays, and uh, where uh, civilization as we know it is falling apart around us. Oh, hang on. Uh, This is too much with the cowl. I gotta take this off, hang on. Oh. Oh, 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 that's so much better. Ah, ah, yes. So I come to you today with my uh, new manifesto, uh, my new, new rule of three, which is Friends, dice, space. I believe that's uh, that's something we can all get behind in these troubling times uh, to to live by. Uh, uh, So I'm Boris Jackson uh, with with today's edition here uh, on on Slice and Dice. Uh, Yes, fantastic. Good. Let's get Dungeons and Dragons done. So, uh, moving forward, uh, let's get everyone else into the the stream tonight. Hello. Anyway, I've got to drop the voice. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Check out Hello. the wonderful array Hello. of costumes we have tonight. Um, I mean, special mentions to, no, no offense, chaps, but but uh, to uh, Marta and Angelique on costumes today. Wow. You guys, crazy amount of effort. <laughs> who doesn't want to be Brina? I mean, who, who, who doesn't, right? <laughs> <laughs> Especially now. We, we, we loved her before, but now it's like something entirely different. Um, <laughs> fantastic. I mean, so, who doesn't want to be there? Evil alter ego. Who yeah. That, why do you think I'm wearing a suit? <laughs> the effing <laughs> suit. The biggest nightmare of all. <laughs> satire. Who says satire is dead, right? Um, so before we jump in proper with tonight's session, our Halloween edition this year, you can tell because I've carved a pumpkin specially. Um, anyone have any uh, any points of order, any shameless plugs uh, before we jump in today? Yep. No, big no. Good. No, no. maybe big next no. week. Maybe next week. We nothing. I like that teaser. A teaser ahead of next week. So in case uh-huh. those of you, if you're not following us already, I have to check sure if my NDA is still on. Ah, <laughs> make sure you're following us if you're not already. So you'll be notified when we go live next time, so that you can be first to hear uh, Marta's shameless plug whenever that should should fall. Should we, that should fall in. But speaking of people who did so uh, last week, can I give a big thank you to our most recent followers? <laughs> To uh, uh, the Atranger Thirteen, uh, Century, <laughs> Century Inferno the Second, and Fluff and Crunch. Thank you all for following us here on Twitch. Merchants. That is one ominous. That is one ominous name. Century Inferno the Second. The Second. So there's, the so there's a Century up. Inferno and then another one. one God damn. <laughs> There'll be a twenty-first Century Inferno eventually. Hello, um, the Atranger. Yeah, thank you guys so much for following us here. It is and every every follow tonight is a successful death saving for us completing. I mean, <clears throat> I mean the 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 negative DM did not say that, so that's it's not that 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 doesn't count. It's uh, you know, it's, 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 no, it's it was mentioned in announcement. What I what I meant to say was was, was that uh, uh, in, instead of the saving anyway. Um, just, just bluster, F- filibuster. Uh, so, uh, yes, shameless plug. Shameless plug. For those of you who uh, aren't uh, aware, um, we had our most recent episode of the Cage drop on our YouTube on Friday. It's our new uh, uh, bi bi monthly series, a fortnightly um, series exclusive to YouTube. Uh, myself, Angelique, and a whole uh, roster of uh, other players. Um, a complete change from, from this group here, a completely separate campaign entirely, uh, as we romp around Planescape causing trouble and filling in forms is one of the, or trying to fill in forms in session three, uh, a litigial nightmare it really was uh, on Automata, because um, uh, lots of lots of uh, fun shenanigans in tow, so make sure you go and check that out when you've got some time this week, and let's face it, we've got a lot more time on our hands these days, so uh, go, go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, and in addition to shameless that, plug, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the the uh, friends uh, dice space. 
uh, uh, slogan that we have uh, is now also uh, a t-shirt. <laughs> you can now oh. get that on a t-shirt uh, or anything else you like uh, on our Teespring store, exclusively on our Teespring store. Go and check it out. In fact, it's just fading into existence next to me right there. You can see um, it's yeah Beautiful. live on our Teespring store. If you want to have Friends Dice Space, because who doesn't love satire? Go and order yourselves uh, one of those. There's t-shirts, there's hoodies, there's um, uh, other app apparel ah, words, and other items. <laughs> yes, excellent. Lots of stuff, all with that on. Um, so if, you, if that sounds like your kind of thing, go grab it while you can. Uh, aside from that, I think we're, uh, we're all plugged up and ready <laughs> to jump in Whew, suit and tie yes should be studying i am in the suit and tie tonight it's a uh, bit warm special. isn't it <laughs> a little bit Go warm I've, I've turned the heating off but it is just too warm oh that would have been a good idea why didn't i do that <laughs> <laughs> uh well bart goes adjusts the heating uh let's jump in with tonight's episode here on slice and dice And we are back at Polar Nights. I love the DM's outfits, the cosplay outfit, the evil, <laughs> the, the evil suits. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, so uh, last time, uh, for those of you who couldn't join us for whatever reason, you heathens, last week, well, I can tell you uh, what went on. So uh, Neris was uh, on the trail of three bounty hunters who had... Um, who were looking for her and the rest of the party. It, apparently... Uh, taking a keen interest in one of the party in Seth um, uh, for he apparently has a price on his head and somebody has given away his name apparently somebody aboard the Knight's Teacher uh, has not been as uh, uh, faithful to uh, their uh, shipmate as uh, as you would hope or so, so has been gathered from the rest of the party now as well as the three uh, bounty hunters uh, one of which was named Last uh, the, the lady sort of paladin type with the flat top and the, the pale scarred skin um, who's the only one who's actually announced her name? The rest of them haven't as yet, as far as I'm aware. But the uh, uh, the three of them, uh, after es essentially trying to extort the party, they were asking for either you give us Seth or you give us the bounty, which is a hundred gold pieces, and we'll leave, uh, or we're going to take him from you uh, or take the money from you. That's 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 that was the options uh, that they gave. The party being the uh, the, the do good, I guess the do-gooders that they are, uh, uncompromising, we don't compromise with terrorists, they uh, decided not to negotiate uh, and give up their friend uh, and instead decided to uh, to battle these these folks. Now, um, things seem to be, you know, looking pretty good for our for our fellows. There was uh, there were six of them, including uh, including Brina. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, Seven, eight, sorry, including if you include Kerr and Beak, debatable. Um, but quite a few of you versus three of them. I mean, yeah, this should be fine. And plus, uh, Leobrin, uh, very tact tactically cast plant growth in the area to, to slow their advance. Um, so you think, you know, you've got everything's playing to your advantage here. Um, but uh, they seem to be tougher, uh, I th I'd say tougher opponents than perhaps was anticipated. And equally, the party were not expecting uh, the area they had set up to um, to 
uh, confront uh, these people. Uh, they were not expecting this lake to actually be inhabited by uh, swarms of snakes and the, the big mama snake, uh, which then appeared from within the lake and uh, started fighting the party, meaning you had a fight going on on two sides. Now, as we left it last time, uh, Neris appeared o over the hillside uh, to try and uh, aid her fellows, dropping a fireball uh, and just being a beacon, literal beacon, with just fire all around her on the hillside. It was, it was epic. It was an epic scene. Uh, right up until uh, last strode up uh, and then summoned a magical item uh, that was a, a, a disc of force with then tendrils that then latched onto Neris and then basically strapped her to that disc and has rendered her essentially immobile and kind of out of the fight, which has now left uh, Brucon as the uh, with his boots of speed able to traverse uh, the uh, plant growth area with ease is now kind of on his own uh, against the three of them on one side with Neris uh, incapacitated and the rest of the party desperately trying to get their way through whilst Seth and Fleeting have been fighting the uh, the giant snake and Fleeting is now in its clutches unconscious with only Seth and possibly uh, possibly the Oberyn and Malar and, and Brina to assist him possibly if they can get to him in time it's uh, all about the timing it's all about where the dice roll uh, and speaking of dice uh, head of tonight's session oh, we have no. uh, <laughs> cogs have been whirring uh there are games are afoot and as it's the halloween special and and the gods are very much aware of the significance roll, roll of 1d20 event. fake dice uh the universe implodes unfortunately uh the pendulum has swung such that it will not be i who decides the fake dice it will be decided by the dice roll of one of you six tonight i'll be rolling oh. this d6 Whichever number it lands on will correspond to one of you, and that person will have to roll a d20 and tell me which number they roll. Oh Sound God. good? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, go on, do it. That sounds diabolical. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Yeah. Diabolical. All right, here we go. Dice number is three. Number three on my screen is the Loxodon Cleric Malar. DK, can you roll a d20 for me, please, to decide what fate has in store for your party? This is just a way of blaming us rather than you. Everyone oh, instantly yeah. levels up. Sharing the love. <laughs> Fake dice. We oh, yeah. instantly level up. Um, goose eggs, my friends. It's a natural one. Oh. Natural. I'm sure. Okay. Well, that's, well that doesn't uh, go badly just, at all. A one is just another number on on the fake dice. It could be good. Could be bad. <laughs> Jack, hang on. These have never been good. That reaction suggests <laughs> that it was not good. Um. Well. The nicest part about this, Dan, is that so DK is that this is your suggestion. This is one of your ah. suggestions. Um, like that. Oh no! So, <laughs> some of those weren't good. So, uh, <laughs> thing. <What>? DK. <laughs> things are. Going what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? Uh, things are. Uh, get, things are afoot, but it's not going to happen just yet. Um, but it will be happening in tonight's stream. That I can guarantee and promise you. Oh, so, good. Oh goody! Uh, right. Uh, without any further ado, then let's get into combat mode, shall we? Summon the music, summon the camera. Let's uh, let's get on with things. So, uh, I have everyone's initiatives from last time, so we can carry on that way. Not a problem with that. Let me just uh, switch the camera over. So, uh, before we get into it, um, to address one thing on the bottom of the round before we jumped back to the top. Uh, Oh no, webcam's not coming. Up. That's okay. We can fix that. I uh, I fixed this before um, with a little bit of manual. It's okay. Yeah, he can fix it. <laughs> you believe in the new the new Borat movies out? So. Oh uh, yeah. Subsequent so movie back, film. Back to me. Now I'm going to switch it over. I was, that is my favorite part of. I, mean, I haven't seen it, and I'm probably not going to because it's really not my thing. But the 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 subtitle is. <laughs> ten out of ten. That's my review. The subtitle is great. Five stars. <laughs> yes, that's right. Ten out of ten and five stars. These are the these are my ratings. <laughs> we have a comeback, Cam. Generous, generous ratings. Uh, yes, we are back. So, um, so last time. Um, at the bottom of the order, we had Kerr and Beak flying across the field. 
You had oh, yeah. Laos running ominously on his own. Um, you also had... So we have Horsey, who's tied up to the cart. He can't really move. We also have... Um, we also have the Dire Capybara, Capybara, sorry, which is uh, right next to Seth. And Seth, you, um, over the last round or so, you have been hearing uh, and seeing um, uh, loam, for <laughs> want of a better word, flying into the air uh, as the uh, as it's been burrowing. Uh, it's uh, survival instincts. Uh, it's actually just been just digging into the ground and trying to get get away from the from the snake. So it's still in that position, but it's it's in a bit of a divot currently as it's trying to yeah hide. That's it. Uh, that's what it's been been doing. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Top of the round. Top of the order. It's Over here, fleeting. I've I've added an extra thing because you guys are slightly further away than the map says. Uh, oh, nice. Anyway, we've got Brucon, uh, who's you just zipped over, facing down uh, the the rogue in the group with the eye patch and the kind of shower curtain of hair at the back. All oh, right, uh, so to me, is it sweet? Uh, no, no, it's him, Tim, not you. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, less sweet. He, right, it's fine. him, uh, but it, it's one of you two. Um, anyway, oh, yeah. bother. So he moves his hand crossbow, hand crossbow, to uh, to his other hand, pulls out short swords and... Uh, oh, you're pretty quick, aren't you? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, adopts adopts a, a dueling pose, a dueling stance, and... Uh, oh, yeah. Goes to attack you, goes to strike against you. Okay, does a 17 hit. It does. Okay. Now, uh, because of the type of rogue that he is, uh, he gets sneak attack because there's nobody else uh, in five feet within five feet of him. So he is going to sneak attack against you. Dislike. Great start. Uh, it's just, I mean, he's, you know, Seth will be familiar with this. Um, Give me yeah, here are the numbers. <laughs> Just give me the numbers, damn it. <laughs> it it's terrible, terrible news. Uh, all right, so uh, just from the weapon, you take seven points of piercing damage. However, uh, that's with an uh, another uh, seven, uh, 18 sneak attack on top of it. So, so total. Yes. Uh, three, sorry, se seven from the weapon. Yeah. Seven so and 18 25 total. Okay. Seven, 18, so 25 points of Ow. piercing damage to you. Uh, I dislike this. As he then, after hitting you with his uh, oh. with his fancy footwork, uh, after attacking you, he can then just strafe on out of there without invoking an attack of opportunity. So he's going to back off just to kind of over here. Uh, then, as a bonus action in his offhand, he's going to just for good measure shoot you with tank crossbow. Hang on. He's loaded. Oh, okay. All right. Say it with me, people. Rogue. Rogues! Um, it's okay, you can only use the attack once. Uh, that was a 19 to hit. So, okay. So, with the offhand, only two points of piercing damage, but it's more insult to injury, really. Uh, well, it, even more insulting is when Brucon uses his reaction to catch it and go, Yes. No. Yeah, good point. Go for it. I, 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 I disregard the first 10 damage I take from... Um, and he did not know that. <laughs> so now you've demonstrated that awesomeness. Are you throwing it back, or are you? Uh... uh, no. I've got better things to do with those key points. And he's just backing it up to uh, to the paladin. That's, that's his turn. Next, next is fleeting look. James, yeah. can you make a death saving throw for fleeting? Uh, Mind you, he still has his skip this time. I mean, you have to roll a death save because he's unconscious. That fleeting skipping. As well. <laughs> he, he'll um, hold. He'll hold his death. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold my turn. Uh, oh. Cool. Uh, nine. That's one. Oh, wait. Yes. I got plus four. D four. D four. Uh, plus three. There you go. Yep. So we'll succeed. Yes. Good. Good. Mala, God bless your bless. Yeah. Yes. Mala, Mala keep, no, keep no, concentrating, my man. Kevin, Gerald, whichever one it was. Next uh, is... Uh, so after the death save for Fleeting, it's then over to Neris, who is uh, incapacitated. Not and, and, doing uh, anything. Not doing anything. Here you are, just strapped to the, the, the disc. Uh, you're just there, so you're cool. Uh, what you do notice, Neris, is uh, when the paladin moves away, uh, you start floating over on the disc towards her. 
you don't get too close, but it's just you, you, you have no control over this, but you're just kind of being a trick in the direction when she moves. Yeah, I know, it's great. You're, you're a passenger. Next up, uh, Hanging Bukon. out. Yeah. Right, Brucon would like to move back over to the rogue, uh, avoiding uh, threatened areas by... Is, I'm assuming that's the paladin he's... Uh, uh, it's the, the barbarian who's right close to you now. Uh, okay, well, Brucon would like to avoid... Uh, invoking an attack of opportunity from the barbarian, if he can, but he also wants to be right up close to dead rogues. You've got boots of speed, so you can you can do that. Yep. Sound. Okay. Still right. Going. First attack. Spending inspiration on it. I really want this to hit. Right. So, first attack. Uh, does a twenty-one hit? Yes, it does. Excellent. Let me just double. Uh, I mean, it does it. Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, immediately spend a key point for a stunning strike. Um, okay. Brucon goes with the goes in with. So hang on, Brucon zips back up in front of him and goes, "I am quite fast, yes, when I want to be, anyway." And then goes for a slash with the cookery, and then at the last minute reverses direction and wha uh, whacks him on the head with the butt of the cookery. Nice. Uh, so he has to make a DC fourteen, I think it is. Let me have a check. Strike your wisdom. It is DC 14 Constitution saving throw. While I roll some damage. Okay. Uh, uh, succeeds with a 16. Fine. Okay. So um, he takes five damage anyway. Five damage. Okay. Yeah. Second attack. Uh, 14. Will not hit. 14 misses. Yeah. Uh. We're still going to do this. Uh, another, uh, yeah, another key point for Flurry of Blows. Pa, pa, pa. This is an expensive round, but I need this guy to go down. So first follow-up attack. Yep. Uh, that's a miss roll. Let's try again. That's better. Another twenty-one. Spending another key point on the stunning strike. Yep. That. Yep. Cool. Oh uh, so God. I'll roll another DC fourteen con save, right? Saving throw. Yep. Oh, 13 fails. Right, excellent. Okay, he takes another five damage from that attack because I rolled a one on the damage roll again. Okay. Uh, and then the last um, uh, attack, this one with advantage he's because stunned. he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I rolled two sevens, so 14. So 14 misses, unfortunately. That's really annoying. Um, okay, even so, uh, so that adds another 20 feet to Brucon's move. Yep. Um, and he now gets the benefits disengage and that guy's stun Ned um, so how much Brucon, how much move has Brucon used already? Uh, you used 30 feet uh, ok so that would leave uh, 70 um, so Brucon is now going to um, go you sit right there and think about what you've done and then he's going to zip over in the direction of the paladin uh, the paladin's actually next to him so Oh, okay. Um, well, he'll zip around to be on the far side of the paladin, uh, far side of the barbarian, round the paladin, if you see what I mean. He wants to maximise the, the distance the barbarian has to cover. Because you've got drunken technique as well, it doesn't matter if you break melee with the other guy, because, yeah, so Correct. that's fine. Correct, yeah, dis um, disengage automatically. Oh. Yep. So you, uh, yeah, you're now squaring off with the paladin, you're be betwixt her and Nerys on, mm. the, uh, on, the, on the disc, of course. Okay, so he then kind of like ran to the paladin and he goes, Now, I wonder if we can discuss uh, this whole situation right here, and that is Brooklyn's death. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Save right. me! Bru At the end of your turn, Brooklyn, can you roll a d4, please? Uh, 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 one. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Millennium Falcon. Hyperdrive failure is basically you as, your, it. <laughs> as your boots spark uh, as you, as you pull up um, something something seems wrong. There's like a, a, an eldritch explosion, a small explosion from your boots, um, and steam starts wafting from them as you're facing down the uh, paladin. Next up is um, next up is the barbarian, uh, and he's oh uh, good ah eight. Come back here, you little... And he uh, runs back over to you. So, one, two, three. 
Yep, you can get to you. You can get to you. And I'm probably so, down. I'm probably going down to this. Okie dokie. Uh, he. Sorry, <laughs> almost forgot it was my turn. They're like, oh, that's nice. Um, all right. He uh, runs over. He is going. He heaves his great axe. Uh, this time for his first attack, he's gonna he goes for a low sweep because he's trying to take your legs out because you keep on running away and that's that's really irritating. Him. Uh, all right, Good. does a does a, ni- a nineteen will hit? Yes. Yep. Uh, okay. So you take not too bad, uh, eleven points of slashing damage. I mean, great axe. it isn't too bad, but I still don't like it. Uh, and then second attack this time he's gonna go for a high one go down onto your head this time that's the hope but he rolled a three on the dice his rage overtook him uh, and he's, you managed to despite your boots now you're noticing that you're not as fast as you as you were a moment ago you still managed to evade the great axe as it comes down and clangs on the digs into the earth right next to you uh, and I think I think that's his turn. Uh, I'm just gonna check quickly. No, that's that's him. Uh, so next up is Brina. You're in the weeds. You have snakes at your feet who have been nipping at you, uh, and you've got Brucon. Uh, sorry, Malar next to you, who also uh, has snakes after him as well. Swarms of these little snakes, which look a lot smaller next to him than we do against you, given the five feet of height difference between the two of you. Um, can I see... No, Brugon is probably too far, right? I'm sure. Yeah, and given the, and given the oh, like, three feet of, uh, of thickets that's now the over grows. the area of yeah. plant growth, it's, yeah, very hard to see so, them without jumping. And I assume that Neris and the Paladin are too far as well. Same place, yeah. Too for me to see. Okay, so the only real danger that I'm really aware of is the snakes. Yeah, you, uh, you did spot uh, uh, last time. You spotted the uh, uh, the disc of force appearing because you, you were going to counterspell it, but then you realised you, you. That's right. That's right. Um, um, so you do, you know what's going on that way, but yes, the clear and present threat to you is the. Uh, the snakes. Snake. Yeah. Okay. Um, how big is the snake, as in its size? Uh, these snakes, they're uh, maybe. They, they vary, uh, um, I mean, but the they're roughly one, a the giant one. Oh, the giant one. Oh, the giant one is um, uh, is, is it's lengthwise. It's looking like it could be 30, 40 feet long. It is huge. Okay, I'm thinking if I aim a, f- a fireball at him, do yeah. I hit who's around him? Um, depending on where you aimed it, you might not. You will hit fleeting because he is constricted by the snake. That's true. Don't. Do we don't need a second Neris fireball like Hang on a minute. Please. Te- hang on, Fleeting's a Fleeting's a tiefling. Yes, yeah, so he's resistant to fire he's damage, resistant. but he will suffer a, a failed death save as the It's still odd for odd to fail, yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. No, I'm going to um I'm going to use burning hands on the snakes around me. Burning hands. Okay. Uh, presumably aiming it away from Malar, or do you want to coat him as well? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Can I get the snakes that are around him? They're kind of in his space, so it would be very in difficult to not singe him as well. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to try to zap the ones on me. Sure, off, okay. With burning hands. Without aiming on anything else. Do it. Uh, it's a... Let's see. Next save, isn't it? Yep. Yep, that's safe. Uh, ooh. Uh, tech save. 12? Uh, no, 16. No, of course not. Not with your 20 intelligence. That would be crazy. Uh, so fail, so they take full damage. <laughs> and that is 3d6 if I remember. Uh, yep, yeah, burning hands first, yep. first level. Yeah. yeah, I think it's 3v6, I think. Off the top of my head. That is pretty good. I... Oh. 
Nine and four. Thirteen. Thirteen damage. Thirteen. Get off me! Thirteen is, is enough uh, to eviscerate the remaining snakes uh, in your in your patch. Uh, they uh, you hear them start hissing and squealing out and just collapsing on the floor, smouldering, boiling, bubbling. Uh, it's a hot mess, but they're they're dead. Uh, that lot. And as you do so, you also then hear the the mother scream as scream out as well, or and then hiss oh, no. loudly. Looking Sorry. towards you, you killed its babies. It's not happy. Sorry. Uh, yep. So that's your action. Are you moving? Are you carrying on running? Um. Yes. Yes. Now, one of the bonuses of using uh, burning hands in your plant growth area is that you're setting fire to the plants there as well, um, which will clear the way ahead of you as well. Um, It's a 15-foot cone, right? Yeah. Cool. So you can move 15 feet uninhibited. Yeah. Uh, You can't move any further, though, but you've got, yeah, three times further than you normally would. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) I'm running across the field. Yay! (laughs) Destruction. Fire. Just running along, flamethrowing the ground in front of the I'm coming, Brookon! (laughs) Neris who? Um, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh that's setting my PC word. against PC. <laughs> She's taking your territory. Your way. Fucking wizard coming in here, stealing the sorcerer. I don't stuff. know who she is. <laughs> no, you did see the fireball earlier, which may have given you an idea. Perhaps, who knows? Um, cool, that's your turn. Um, unless you have, you don't have bonus action to do. All right. Um, next. Ah, next is the mama. The mama's not happy. Um, but the mama has her meal as well, and is uh, not particularly impressed with uh, with this thorn in her side, the myrrh elf down below. So uh, this time it uh, retreats back; it disengages and retreats back into the into the lake, going under the water with fleeting and out of sight. Crying out loud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I I hear that. Um that's that's its turn. Leobrin. You're next. <laughs> um okay. Too many friends. Too many friends. Okay. So much peril. Hmm. Uh well fleeting is now out of the equation. So <laughs> I guess uh, of the uh, nasty trio, who's looking most rough? Are we trying to who are we trying to blast most right now? Um, I guess the, uh, of the trio, the probably the rogue, maybe. Because yeah. it's hard to tell between the barbarians taking more hits, but mm. is, has tanked them rather more effectively and mm. will take longer to bring down. So. But are we wanting to take yeah. down the paladin for That's what I was thinking. annoyance? Reasons? Free Neris as well. Get her in again. Yeah. Well, that depends on whether taking down the paladin does anything to what's restraining Neris, which we don't know. Bring we... literal firepower back. If we can get our hands on it, hopefully we can yeah. do a thing where we can't really get our hands on that. Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, Rebrucon, you kind of need an assist, right? Dealing Be nice, yeah. Rogue, okay. Well, well all that, all of the, that all of them at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's fire one blast at the rogue and see what happens. Uh, He's stunned. They're, they're, is stunned? He's stunned. Does that, oh, advantage. Uh, that, you knock over into ranged attacks, I thought it did. Uh, if they're stunned, they're in, yes, I have advantage. Uh, that's a helpful advantage, thank you. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, against which one, sorry? The Rogue. Rogue The Rogue, the Rogue, the Rogue. Now, uh, unfortunately, due to the cover, that misses. Cool. Cover? What cover? I thought uh, they from were... The, uh, from the, uh, the foliage between the two of you, the plant growth, throughout this hundred field. It all counts as cover? Yeah, he's got half okay. cover um, from you. Um, as per last time when people were aiming spells, it was difficult because of the foliage. Was that Elvish Blast, though? Was. Uh, so yeah, well, yeah. Is anyone not in cover, then? 
Um, so all of them have, so all, so but uh, <clears throat> the taller ones have half cover. The shorter one has three quarters cover. Mm. Until all that. The paladin gone. is tall. Yeah, it's the barbarians. The one. The dwarf is got has got three quarters cover. Uh, the way to make the fight harder. I know. <laughs> Leo jacked this fight up. However, very accidentally. I mean, very I mean, to be fair, there are places you can get elevation if you wanted to get a better look. It's just from your current position. You, you know, I'm next to a way. horse and cart. Exactly. I climb up on the horse and cart. Yeah, make uh, <laughs> as a free action. Uh, do you know what? It's climbing on a horse. You don't need it. It's just movement. So yeah, just climb up onto the horse. I won't make you roll for that. That would be mean. Here we go. Put you on the barrel because apparently. Oh, yeah, I can. I can. You know I can chat go. with Reginald because I currently have speak with animals. Up, That's true. So. You can. Reginald goes. Goes. Get on my back. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> yes, we just need to. Um, there's some people that need holes in them. Um, I'll the fire boots. again at the rogue. Shall I leave the snake? The snake. No. Uh, Twenty to hit. Oh, that hits. A. Twenty hits. Uh, da, 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 on the road. Da. That is an eleven force damage to our roguish rogue. Yep. Choice. Blast. Which he will then use his reaction to uncanny dodge. Bring that down. Well, while stunned. Oh no. He's stunned. Well, well he is stunned, but it doesn't specify. It doesn't Conditions. Specify. Stunned. Okay. Incapacitated. Uh. I feel like the means can't take no actions reactions. or reactions. You're right, you're right. No, ignore me. That's full damage. That's oh, technically, cool. also still with advantage. So let's see if I get a crit, actually. Hey, go on. Yeah, no, never mind. Sorry, yeah, good call, good call. Forgot about that. Even though the disc is right there on his head to show me. Cool. I did, I did <laughs> run over there with the express purpose of um, getting in his grill for this exact, yeah, exact yes. reason. Yes, Monk, monkness. Good, good, cook, good stuff. All right, uh, Leo Brind, uh, you're up on up on top of uh, Reginald. Uh, that's that's your turn, unless you have any bonus action. Anything you want to do? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't know how much this is going to help. Uh, what's the most visible color behind Leo Brind? Like sky or trees or <laughs> more grass? It's more. Um, I, I guess um, from uh, from from those guys, it's going to be the mountains. Um, Cool. I, I spend the bonus action to uh, make my cloak look like mountains. Great. And then just like... Ha! Ah, Great ripple defense. I'm invisible. <laughs> shades of gray. <laughs> wait, wait. Is this still going to work like this? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this Amazing. is my camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a camouflage? <laughs> I'm uh, glad someone uh, got the I mean, reference. Marshall, you've got to, I've got to give you inspiration there Leo Brin the cloak is back people the cloak is back yeah. alright next up is um, next up is Seth I won't get cool. Seth to, to make my outfit more official as I turn towards the lake <laughs> <laughs> as I turn towards the lake I am going to take my hat off yes <laughs> and I am going to march into the water after the snake wait what okay Hat comes off. This is the the yeah, exactly what what Martha said. Yes, one hundred percent. He also has a uh, as a Murelf, you have a swim speed, so uh, you, uh, you can move at a good, good pace into the. Into and the water. I can see under water. So yeah. how far away is the snake? He's not. He he's not far from you. You can reach him. If, um, he's he's gone. Uh, he's gone maybe twenty feet full, uh, down, um, sort of hugging the the bottom of the lake. But you can get there. Cool. I am going to swim down, and I am going to, as I'm swimming straight towards him, go to stab at, with that speed with the rapier. All right. I am going to roll. use my inspiration for this as well. Okay. Ten and a five, and one more. Nineteen. Nice. Uh, so We're twenty. Twenty-seven. Well, that hits, yeah. That, that, of course, that hits. <laughs> Roll some damage, you roguey rogue, you swashbuckling hero. Uh, and the snake. 23 damage. Describe to us how you slay 
Yes. Giant lurking. Oh, surf! Clutch. I'd like to, I'd like to swim down and, with, uh, just when its mouth's open, start to get the rapier just to the side. And as I keep swimming down, pull the rapier down along his body as I cut it. <laughs> Play Live action Never replay. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's so good. We gotta get a replay of that, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Uh. Lovely, and uh, blood spurts from it. Seth, um, you don't anticipate, because you hadn't planned this, but as you strike it with your rapier, this uh, the water itself kind of parts uh, around your rapier. Just momentarily, there's a shock wave as you, as you cut into it. Those of you, uh, Leo and you'll see the rake, uh, the, the rake, the lake ripples from uh, at roughly about the center of the lake, trembles as you slice into it and Fleeting's hat falls off and floats to the surface and you can just see that one tricorn hat floating on the surface currently uh, the Ogryn uh, yep, so power of friendship you know that you've, you've killed uh, the power of friendship yes you've slayed the snake uh, so yeah Fleeting is now there he, he is able to be grabbed it took your movement to get down there and get it, get up to it and attack it so you've only got a bonus action left you like to do uh with with my bonus action i can't grab him or anything like that so i'm i can't do anything if i unless i move away from fleeting so no i can't do nothing like i'll just get around him oh am i not next to him yeah, i'll, so I'll you, could, you could dash and then dash like... to move next to him just push push him over. You, you, anyway, your arms oh. around him, ready to get ready to get him to the surface uh, next time. Just imagining, yeah, just imagining anything goes wrong. So if the if the river is like moving one direction, I'm going to swim around with my bonus action to the other. Uh... Oh, what a time! Sorry, your sound uh... just went there. Oh no! To the other. Uh... Uh... Anyway, we'll, we'll get back. It's the, it, we'll get back to him anyway on, on his on his next turn. Um, all right. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Mm. Next up is Malar. You are, yeah, you've got yeah. snakes around your feet. Yeah. You've just seen uh, Brina burn up a path uh, and eviscerate her snakes. Okay. So here's what Malar would like to do. I would like to get into the uh, scorched track that um, Brenna had carved. Yeah. Um, and I would like to walk We'll come up behind her. Yep. Grab her, pick her up. Uh, and Mala will say, Oh, miss, I'm awful sorry about this. Um, throw in a, a, a healing word to her at first level. As a bonus action, so that's going to be four, six, seven points of healing to Brenna. That brings okay. me to four. Uh, and I would like to um, fast for the special. Yes! This small gnome. <laughs> yes! 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 yes, yes. <laughs> Fastball special time! Alright. Uh, so for this, uh, uh, this will be an athletics check. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to use my inspiration on this as well. Yes! I'm Sink tiny. Plastic. It shouldn't be too hard. A bit plus three. That is going to be 16. With a 16, you can throw her. You can throw her a good a good 30 feet from you in the direction of Rufon. You won't get all the way to him, but you can certainly... Do you want to get me to Neris instead? That's <gasps> closer. No, it's about I'm, the same I'm... distance, to be fair. Uh, uh, at the moment, Malar is basically working on sound. Heard uh, Brucon grunting and so. Yeah. So you are catapulted, uh, Brina, awesome. across some of the plant growth. Uh, Brina, you need to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid falling flat on your face oh, on the ladder. Oh, great! Landing. That's that's my best. But you do get a D4 with that. You do get a D4. Yes, I do. I do indeed. Bless. Uh, Bless. And to be fair, because a... because Malar used inspiration, you have advantage on this. I think that's fair. Oh, nice. I needed that. Okay. Uh, uh, with bless, it's 17. Nice. Nice. Yep. 
for the first time in your life, Brina, um, uh, when you move at speed involuntarily, you actually are able to catch yourself on the landing. And uh, with your with your staff, you manage to kind of hold yourself up. Uh, and so that you're, you're on two feet. This is this is unprecedented. It's been an unprecedented year. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Mala, um, so you only moved five feet to get to uh, Brina. Are you moving any more at all? I will use uh, all my m- remaining movement to head in the same direction. Okay, cool. So you can move Plowing one more uh, oh, yeah. through the burnt up uh, plant growth area. The rest will be difficult terrain. So you can move one more. Um, uh, yeah, 20 feet, 40, one more. You do, however, incur an attack of opportunity from those snakes around your feet. Uh, however,. I'm pretty sure, because you're pretty tanky, a, uh, yeah, a, a 14 will miss, right? Yeah, I miss. Excellent. There you are. No, I found not, not happy. Not happy with that. Um, but anyway, it's they're so not happy, it's now their turn. Uh, so they're going to continue towards you, following the exact same route. You look, you glance behind you as you're running, and you can see them s- skitting across the, uh, the now uh, barren area that's been burnt out, uh, and leap up on, well, scurry up to you and some of them start trying to climb up your legs uh, and they go to bite into you that's a natural 20 so okay uh, okay then so you take but there's only half of them fortunately now there's not many of them so it doesn't do as much damage but 5 points of piercing damage um, you need to make a con saving throw and in addition to that, I need you to roll a d20 as well, which oh, is a sorry. separate roll. So let's do the con save first to avoid con save first. Uh, 15 on the con save. Okay, you're nice. fine. You can feel the venom, uh, but you, it seems like it was a light wound. It doesn't seem to have massively affected you. Your joints don't seize up. And now just roll a d20, please. Yes, 13. Okay. Nice. Unlucky for some. 13 it's good enough you yep. uh, some of these snakes have now cl- have climbed up sort of they're like they're under your clothes they like, like they're climbing up onto you they they're in for the ride now uh, some of these with you uh, unless you do it with them uh, but they uh, they snakes. don't manage to cause any mortal wounds fortunately personal right. snakes personal snakes <laughs> flying snakes batman uh right their turn uh, right? i i hate i hate to be this guy isn't bless a con- uh, concentration spell? You're quite right. Thank you. Yes. But the DC will Only be ten. DC ten, fortunately. Seventeen. Nice. Uh, no, wait. Twenty-one. <laughs> Twenty-two, <laughs> in fact. Easily maintain concentration. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the battlefield, uh, Brucon, you're facing down. You've now swooped over yeah. in front of the paladin. It's yeah. Another turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, just keep them coming. Keep them coming. All right. She, uh... She, she, uh... Looks you in the eyes, looks down on you. Her flail in hand just kind of smolders for a second. Just, I knew it was going to be a pain in my ass. And, uh... She... <laughs> spells. Ooh, spells. Okay. He's going to take a swing at you. Mm-hmm. But I'm, well, I don't think that will hit. It might not. Does a uh, does a 15 hit? It does not. There we go. So you're all right. Oh, oh. Like that. That's why. Clearly, palpably quite annoyed. She's going to take a second swing at you. Yeah. And this one just ends me. <laughs> no, this is that's uh, that's a two on the dice. It's just, it's just yeah. It's like, yeah, the, the second, time Bru- second time Brucon doesn't even bother with all the Wing Chun stuff. He just kind of like, come on. But what is more, I suppose, imposing than than her missing with these attacks is that she, uh, as you've seen, she's kind of grown a foot taller, hair bristling uh, out of uh, out of the, the gaps in her armor, uh, looking at a formidable, imposing sight. Uh, however, uh, it's a bonus action. She casts a spell, uh, and yeah, so you just hear a shout out: "Compel jewel!" 
and uh, you need to make a wisdom save. What did you there. cast? Compelled 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 you. Uh, Quality Paladin. Okay, here we go. No, not using that one. That one never rolls well. <laughs> Dice Juju. Okay, well, uh, how how about uh, how's uh, twenty two? Oh, that that will succeed. So I don't think anything happens. Really glad I didn't use the black d twenty of suffering and pain, <laughs> which never ever rolls well for me. You should burn it. Yep, uh, I'm going to crush, crush it in order to demonstrate to the others the price of failure. <laughs> I like how you think. Nice one. So that's her turn. Uh, and she yet holds her ground with you. Uh, bottom of the round. Uh, well, nobody can see it now, but the... Oh! I have forgotten one thing, uh, so I'll, I'll do it now at the bottom of the round. So, Steph, you, those snakes that were around your feet before you jumped into the water, they follow you in there uh, and they swim down to you and Fleeting. One of them goes straight for you. Uh, pretty sure a 14 will miss. No, it's a 12 misses. actually, that will miss. And the other one's going for Fleeting, he's unconscious. Okay, that's a 19 on the dice. So, yeah. So, and the failed death save for uh, Fleeting. Oh, no, it's a critical, automatic critical, because he's unconscious. So, two failed death saves for Fleeting, as these little nippers are now just burrowing into him. You've got to act fast, my friend. Uh, all right. Meanwhile, Kerr and Beak, woo, flying on over. And, uh, yeah, they're just going to... I think that... that Discretion might be the better part of valor for these two today. Uh, they they get out their slings and they uh, try to rain down on the stunned victim below. Oh, natural twenty for Kerr. Yes. No, no one. You yeah, boy. I was yeah. no, I was jumping. I was just typing. Uh, so I haven't your boys, your boys are coming true, trying to help their their monk brethren. Uh, okay, so he takes. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then Beak also fires a sling. Yep, two fifteens, that'll hit. And that's uh, another five. So pelted now with sling bullets as well next to you as you can and you can hear like these stones bouncing off of him and then onto the the metal uh, shield of uh, of last in front of you, Brucon. And yes, the Arakokra finally have done something useful. Uh, anyway, that's that's them. Laos continues across the field, trying to get through all these vines and stuff. He's a bit confused. My dream um, of an army of Arakokra monks backing me up. Still on the line. Still, still viable. It's still here. It's, it's, it's going to happen. It's, it's, <laughs> it's only a matter of time. So then we go to the top of the round, which is um, which is uh, the uh, the rogue. So. so he's so he's stunned, right? So he he's incapacitated. That's his turn until the end of your next turn, right? So he's out of it. So he can't do anything. Oh boy, stunning strikers! It's really, 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 really good. So clutch. Yes. Oh, but it, it comes at a cost, of course. But it's been well used. I mean, how are you doing on key points now? Two left. Two left. Cool. Uh, Fleeting's next. He needs to make his death save. He has two failed death saves. Come on. Is he is he still is he blessed? He is blessed. Oh no, hang on, hang on. I'm um, hang on. He's he's underwater. He's drowning. So he that's an automatic fail. I'm so sorry. What? What? He's underwater. He's drowning. He's he, that's an automatic fail. He's already unconscious. He's drowning. That, that that's a failed death save. That's Fleeting dead. There's no way around that. Uh Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, this got cool. cool. <laughs> oh god. Um, Seth. Um, you're gonna have to figure out something on your turn, but he's he's gone for the moment. You don't know this. I would say it's unlikely you'll know this. You 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 know he at the moment. You're just trying to get these snakes away and get them to the surface, right? Okay. Yep. Anyway, speaking of people who can't do things, Neris, uh, that's your turn next. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. What a segue. segue! What a segue! Wow. 
So Dan, this is what happens when you're not here for a few weeks. Your character dies. Oh god. Hey, okay. Oh. Okay, but yes, somebody who can okay. do something. Can I Some... do anything? Can uh, I roll for anything? Um well, because you're Neris and because of your background, I'll say the one thing you can do because of subtle spell is you can do uh, because of sorry, your co-farborn heritage, is that you can do prestidigitation with just the thought. So you don't need to you don't need any components or anything. So you can do a bit of you can make things colourful, make some sparks appear. You know, some, jazz it up a little bit, but nothing to get out of your bounds, unfortunately. <laughs> so basically, it can do magical jazz hands. Yeah, you can make a little signal to your friends if you like, just in the sky, a little firework, very small firework, but you could do something like that. You, you know, she, she's she's not restrained from speaking, correct? Um, I did say last time she's got a thing around her mouth, but actually, yes, you can. Yeah. At least muffled, you can. Sure. So, so you know what spell Neris mm. knows that has only verbal components. I don't. <laughs> uh, sword any... burst. Sword burst is verbal only. Oh. I would say uh, that you are next to me. because of the rules of the um, of the disc. Because you're incapacitated, you can't take actions. So oh, technically, right. you couldn't you couldn't do any of these things. But I'm saying prestidigitation. I'll, I'll I'll segue and say because you can just think it, and it happens. Therefore, you can do prestidigitation. Other than that, country. nothing else you can do uh, currently. Until Brucon or somebody else helps you, that is. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I'm just maybe. reading the. I'm reading the the description because I haven't used first digitation in so long, and I was my knowledge of it was fuzzy at best, even when I did. <laughs> I love one of the yeah. points that said, "You instantaneously clean or soil an object no larger than one cubic foot." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clean or soil. <laughs> It's funny yeah. how useful it would be going the other way and doing you know, soiling things rather than cleaning them, which seems obvious. Yeah. Um, right. Just uh, what? G give me, give me a couple of seconds because I was not sure, ready no for this. Uh, Brucon, you'll be next. So um, um, yeah, have a have a little so you prep your prep your turn. Yeah. <laughs> you current. I would say you can see right. you've got all three of the guys are kind of around you at this point. Oh, they're one stunned. Hmm. Would it be able to affect them with like an annoyance of some sort, like to give them disadvantage or something? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know. Why don't you make an Arcana check? So, so as a free action, make an Arcana check. I cast annoyance. <laughs> using. I, 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 feel like a, I feel like some sparks. Uh, so the, the annoyance uh, is Arcana. Oh, I got uh, that's nineteen. So oh. I was going to make it because <laughs> I can cause an odd odor. I was going <laughs> to make it. Okay. <laughs> I was going to make it smell like the, uh, the the paladin was it that, that trapped me? Yeah. Who is it? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, so, yeah. the the paladin. Yeah. Yeah, the paladin that trapped me is going to smell like she shat her bed. <laughs> the smell of fecal matter uh, <laughs> erupts from. Uh, sorry, what's the range on prestidigitation? Oh, yeah, my back. Hang on a minute. What's the what's the what's the what's the range on prestidigitation? Um, on uh, ten feet. No, you're twenty feet away. So, oh, so can, you can, can do it because you don't like know this. Coming from her. Yeah. You, well, you no. <laughs> So you make the smell go off, okay? Um, but because <laughs> but you want you will it to be from her. But you, you're, yes. you're kind of your anger gets the best view. The angle you can't judge exactly how far away she is. So Brucon, just behind you, um, it starts to. There is a, a very distinct odd odor, which reminds you of perhaps one of the uh, one of those extravagant parties that you were dragged to by your cousin, uh, but like in the early hours of the morning where things have gone a bit wrong. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten. I blanked on my cousin's name. It's been a while. Oh, Rudy. Now. Rudy. Rudy, 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 Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> However, I, I will not impose disadvantage. I won't say you're distracted on <laughs> that. Sorry, Darius. <laughs> All right, but it's your turn, Brucon, Anyway, I bring the drama. It's fine. Okay. Nero, <laughs> <Nerys. laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right. Neris is how far away? Uh, she is fifteen feet from you. And we're still inside the zone of plant, planty nonsense, yes? Uh, where Neris is, isn't, <coughs> you're on the edge of it. Neris isn't? Neris isn't, but she's hovering above it. 
Splendid. Okay. Brucon's turn looks like this. Brucon is going to use a key point yes. to use Step of the Wind. He is yes. going to disengage, disengage as a bonus. Good call. Good call. Okay. Yep. You can disengage. And then, yep. You can also double your jump distance. Triple your jump. No, jump, double your jump distance. Yeah. No, it's, it's double. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, Brucon is going to break straight for Neris. Okay. Um, Happy to throw a, a, a running jump in there to try and kind of surf over the plant yeah. stuff. If that be some, uh, every, every square of movement is precious at this point. Yes, and but yeah, I would do so for sure because you um, it's fifteen feet of difficult terrain and your boots and have stopped working in On epic the style. Yeah, they started they started yeah. spats, fr- fritzing out. That's what they've done. Okay, we'll tell you what. Can can we endeavour to do some kind like the paladin's grown right? The paladin's now super big. A little bit bigger. Uh, Brucon's going to attempt to spring off the paladin's thigh Ooh. in the direct Neris. He's going to try and get a little boost off the paladin. Sure. Okay. Uh, I like it. I like this stunts, of course. Uh, make an acrobatic. Stunt! Yeah. Watch me. Yeah. Well, this is this is the point. <laughs> all, falls horrendously to pieces. Come on. Come on. Do the locomotion. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen is enough. So you, uh, she's she's got a quite a clear guard up. So her thigh is going to be difficult. However, when she uh, there's a moment's hesitation, and you can use the shield, her shield, to then bounce off of that. And propel that it works. Through. Okay, so Brooklyn's going to bounce. Wow. Towards, uh, what, towards how Harris. far can you jump? What's your, what's your remind me that the, the it's your strength jump. score. Sorry, for a long jump. Okay, score. so so that'd be fourteen. So twenty-eight feet. 28 feet. Uh, it's, uh, it's halved because of because uh, it's a standing jump, I think. However, still, 14 feet is is what you need to get up to her, so great. Oh, great. Okay. Um, then Brucon is going to, by hook or by crook, use all of use his movement and his action for more movement to try and tow Neris as far away as possible from the little shit show around, uh, around where he's just been. He's basically kind yep. of like... He's, she's on this level beating platform. It's just yeah, he's, yeah, exactly. Just come on, and then just try to shove it or drag it, whatever. So immediately when you go up to grab it, you notice it, it's solid. It won't move. You can make a strength check as an action to try and uh, try and push it, pull it, break her out of it. What you will. Okay. What are we? All right. So what are the? All right. So he gets up, kind of goes to shove, and immediately just like mm, nothing. So what's the? So a quick scan. The tendril things holding her in place. What are we looking at? Yeah, the tendrils are hold, strapping her to the disc. Uh, there's a, there's a, kind of two or three of them just ov- overlapping the top of her. They, She's rigid again. Do they? Can he like grip them? Yes. How do they feel? Um, you can feel just the energy pulsing through them. Um, they. It feels they feel like. Soft. It, are they rigid? Are they? Do they're they fairly. Like rig- they're fairly rigid. Yes fairly rich okay. so you can get a good grasp of them uh, but you feel like if you held on to them too long you'd, you'd be in all kinds of magical trauma yeah. all right let's let's try uh this is so not brucon's um like field of expertise let's he's gonna attempt to slash one with his cookery oh okay um i will say uh, I'll, I'll be nice brucon uh make you can make a strength check Rather than attacking, you kind of recognise that that the kukri alone is not is not going to be sufficient. You need to cool, pull yeah, her, okay, prize her free. So strength, just a strength check, or can I add uh, proficiency? It's just a strength check, straight check. But but but, but um, okay, so no proficiency. All right, no proficiency. Sorry. I uh, really wish I still had that inspiration from before. Oh, actually, tell you what, let's use this one. That worked better. Super suspicious, but now is not the time to be Mr. Rational. Anything we can do here. <laughs> oh, well, that's a six. You uh, you try to get your kukri underneath of it to kind of give you some leverage and try and prise it off, and it's just it's not budging. You feel like you feel like maybe part of it's because you're a bit kind of puffed out from everything that's going on at the moment, but uh, you need some force to remove it. But 
it's it seems believable it seems doable it doesn't seem beyond the realms of possibility just not this time um okay, okay well the so, remainder of his move then because yeah. that it hasn't used any of it um, you're gonna hide fact. behind Neris. <laughs> well is at the vet at the bare minimum gonna flip over so that he's on the far side of, of the nearest platform from our um our lovely friends over over yonder yeah yeah, you can flip over her, right. sure. Um, in fact, you get you get a good look at her face uh, as as you flip over uh, over the top of the of the slab. Um, Marta, how, what's Nerys expression at this point? I'm guessing that. Exasperation. <laughs> yes. Uh, come on, guys. Okay. Uh, cool. Next up, then with you uh, with that uh, now uh, Nerys in the full. It's almost this- like a Hannibal Lecter kind of calm, actually. Okay. Calm. Fierce. Like it. Oh, calm. Sorry. Not calm. fierce. Calm. Just, just, just. Yes, an inner calm. Lovely. Okay. Tranquility. <laughs> not, of. not. There's no inner calm. <laughs> okay. There's only certainty that they will all die. Okay. Yeah. You, you have conviction. Conviction. All right. No, it's not conviction. It just is. Just I'll is. just stop describing and yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're just you just are. You're there. You are. Yes. You are who you are. Exactly. You know what you must do. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. You have a, and a what minute. I will do. Yes. Okay. Great. Um, next up is the dwarf uh, barbarian, and yep, he wants his quarry. Try and pick a runner. And let's leap over. However, I didn't roll very well, so he lands in front of Nerys, but he prone on the ground has to pick himself up and just Aah! you can see that his head's bleeding as he's kind of smacked it quite hard on the ground good he landed <laughs> yeah Br- Brucon's, Brucon uh, looks at him as he gets home and goes well but let, let that be a lesson to you how, how, do I have any movement in my hands whatsoever or fingers <laughs> unfortunately no <laughs> even my fingers just, no, no. Can, can I not just raise the middle one, add him. <laughs> yeah, flip him the Vs at the bare minimum, surely. Neris, Neris, uh, okay, you can make, uh, make a... Literally, literally just a middle finger to him. Little, okay, as he make a up. strength check. <laughs> you are fighting against the arcanic forces We're... to move your middle finger. We are adding this to the rules that if you're incapacitated, you can't take an action or reaction unless it's swearing. It's 14. 14. 14. Um, the finger, you can see, moves halfway up, but it's stuck. Okay, close enough. Moved close in a enough. Bit. He'll, kn- yeah. He'll know what it means. <laughs> yeah, if, he's lo- if he's looking at you, that's 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 that. I want him to anymore. look up from the ground where he smacked his head and just see that. <laughs> like, you mean a dirty bird, you little. Yeah. <laughs> um, he pulls out. Um, so instead, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna pull out a hand axe and lob it at, at Brucon. Uh, Brucon, you've got half cover behind Maris. Um He's gonna. Which is anyway, chuck, what, what's what's half cover do to AC plus again? Two, plus two, two to AC. Yeah. Um, cool. I rolled a three anyway, so yeah, that's that's hopeless. Uh, it's like ah, he's just so angry. <laughs> Hit his head. He can't <laughs> hit anything. And, ah, and he has one last hand axe, which he then throws as well. Oh my god, that's better. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-two to hit. That's a hit. All right. Um, oh wow, that's a good hit. Uh, you take eight points of slashing damage. No, I don't. Uh, oh, because it's a. <laughs> yep. And I li- literally disregard the first ten <laughs> range damage I take each um, when when I use no, the. Nope. Uh, so yeah, it would have. So uh, do you remind me what's your minimum for uh, the reaction? For it's, the it's ten. Oh, it's ten. So you just catch it. Okay. And it's, and just ah! it. <laughs> yeah. Just see red steam. Yeah, Brickon catches it, looks at it, looks back at him, and goes, "Practice serenity," and then tosses it away. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> And he just drops his head. He looks a little bit defeated at this point. Um, yes! First blood, Bruca! Yes, not happy. Okay, next up, Rina. Okay, um, after being tossed, how yes. how far am I from the action in front I'll of say, me? Uh, I'll say you've got a good look when you were thrown, so you don't need to roll for this. Um, so 
from there, you're roughly 50 feet. 50 feet from mm. the paladin apologies. as well? Po- apologies, 40 feet. 40 feet from the nearest, which would be the rogue and the dwarf. The rogue and the dwarf. <coughs> okay. Um, in that ca- are they within 20 feet from each other? Yes, just. So right, is the paladin, I'm actually. I'm going to fireball them. Okay. Okay. I love it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Sorry, Marius, I still don't know you. Do it, do it. I appreciate fire in all its forms. <laughs> gonna follow up with another, own. another, another deck save. <laughs> By the way, I've just realised something. When the when the barbarian throws the axe at me, this is what happens, right? And Brucon just looks at the axe and goes, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Amazing. I just look uh, to my left. Just... I have a tiny axe. All right. The uh, okay. So, what was the DC? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay. The paladin fails. The other two succeed. Okay, that's still half. That's okay. Uh, except for uh, the rogue who uh, evades and takes no damage. Ah. Uh, no longer. Hang on. No damage. Didn't the rogue fail? No, he succeeded. It was the paladin who failed. Oh, it was the pa- sorry, yes, sorry. So he that's kind okay. of rolls around, yeah. managed to the avoid paladin's a second. Gonna look ropey. The, the paladin is going to look ropey. Let's let's hear that damage. Let's do it. Eighty-six. Mega encounter continues with the second fireball <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the battle. <laughs> Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Very nice. How are they looking? Paladin's smouldering, not looking, in, not looking in the best of health. Not like in his stylish Neris way. Oh, she's still standing. Yeah. Uh, I know, right? Um, the barbarian again just kind of roars with laughter as his, uh, as the uh, the bare head. Um, uh, he- well, headgear, the bare headpiece is, is burning up on top of him. Uh, it was 33, but he's saved, so that's uh, 16, halved to 8 because he is very annoying with his resistances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah, bear, yep, yeah, got it. Cool. Yep. It's but something. So y- you, did, you did some stuff, and you certainly have now cleared a further area. Um, uh, of plant life, which in itself is useful, in of yeah, itself and is, I'll is really still, useful. And I'll Shouldn't take all of my movement well, to get closer. Sure. Okay, so you can move another one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... Sure, okay, like, come on. Okay, the giant snake's dead. Good. The bastard. Next up is Leobrin. Saw the hat rise to the surface, the little snakes. Mm. Go, go into the uh, into the lake, and you've seen uh, the dire capybara start uh, burying itself um, in its position. Is oh, he right. still alive? That's bleak. With uh, sleeping dead. Burrowing into a hole, I think, is what that meant. Uh, Not like in a kind of right. Well, my master is gone. I must go with him as the pharaohs. Good question. I don't know with fine seed actually. At a, um, it's not so a concentration does anyone, anyone spell. Anyone know off the off the top of their head if the if the person who summoned the steed dies, does the steed disappear? Or I will uh, look it up right now. Ask Avaray. But anyway, you can't see. Regardless, Discord. it already burrowed itself underground, so you can't see if it's if it's gone or, or not. But it, yeah, mm. you can let me know the answer to that later on. That'd be great. Um, but anyway, Leobrin, um Yeah, it seems like the lakes. Uh, a bit, there was an, a boom from within it, but other than that, it seems relatively calm. It's all the actions over on the other side where the fireball just went off. No indication that uh, Find Steed is contingent on the caster being still being alive. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Yay, Die Caster Bar is not still concentration or anything. Uh, I mean, I can't do anything about fleeting. Um, I am not a cleric. Uh, blasting the paladin. 
yes. I, I'm not sure which one she is, but I'll blast her. Sure. Uh, that is a crit. Whoa! Oh, I think it, I think yes! it hits. Oh, yeah, a crit, a crit most certainly does. does that. Crit. Uh, unfortunately, the rolls are... Sh bad word. Uh, <laughs> eight. Eight force damage on okay. a crit. Oh, okay. yeah. Still, it'll count, it'll count. Second blast. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, one off, but, you know, I think uh, whatever that is, 26 to hit is going to do the hit. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, nine force damage. Nine is what you need. Whoa! With that, she goes down onto one knee, strike her with the second bl blast. Rukon, you see the uh, pinky purple uh, explosion uh, and uh, of energy coming from that area. She, she falls to the ground. Ah! Rogues on the next turn. Last! Last! <laughs> Pulls out his uh, hand crossbow, drops the sword. Um, anything else for your turn, Leo Brim? Uh, that's all the combattery. Um, <laughs> uh, who? Mm, mm, I, I don't think a horse and cart is going to get through this knotty greenery any better than I will. Not unless you can stick a combine harvester on the front of it, no. Mm. I mean, there's a horse on the front if it just starts munching. Nah, <laughs> 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 uh, no, nothing for labor. That's it. Okay, Done. next up, Seth. I swim to the surface. With fleeting, yeah. It's like 15 feet, yeah, 15 feet up, isn't it? Yeah, um, you, can get, you can get him up there. Um, I'll say that because you're pulling, you're pushing him up to the surface. Yes, it's underwater, which helps, but 15 feet, that's going to be most, that'll be your movement to get him up there. Um, you notice okay, the hammer so... slips out of his hand as you as you uh, bring him to the surface of the water. You do take two opportunity attacks from those snakes. Yep, don't care. Yep. I love that you don't care! <laughs> <laughs> Friendship. Um, uh, they're both 18 to hit. That both hit. Okay. The herd was thinned earlier by Brina, so it won't be as powerful. However, you do take 11 points of piercing damage, and you need to make two constitution saving throws. Uh, can I You No, I'm not going to use my reaction. I'll save that. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um... 17 and 15 on the dice. Yep, they're both fine. Yep. Cool. Uh, get up. Can I see that he is dead when we are on the shore? When you get to the surface, um, yeah, you look to him. He's floating. He's not breathing. No, no breath is coming out of his lungs. Cool. So we're on the shore. We're out of the water and on the shore. Uh, not on the shore. Sorry, not on the shore. You're just on the surface. Um, uh, then bonus action dash to yep. move however much is needed to the into the shore. Yep. Nice. In fact, you'll get there. You'll get there. You nice. Just about get him onto the shore. His hat uh, cool. is still in the water, but it's not important right now. Yeah, he's on the shore. Um, so that was sure. So that's only how much movement do I have action. left? Uh, you've used all your movement for your bonus action, or uh, you've still got an action slash bonus action. I don't know which one, don't know which one you use because you have yeah, one. Bonus action. Um, you've got an action. So, so we're at the rock again, then. Yeah, exactly. We're back at the rock. Cool. Um, how much? How far away is the closest enemy? Uh, far from you, eighty odd feet. Uh, cool. No, sorry, further um, than that, like near a, a, about 100 feet. Yeah. 100 feet, cool. Yeah. And I'm going to pick up the crossbow on the ground. Yep. Yeah. And in front of me, is it all difficult terrain? Uh, most of it. There. <clears throat> yeah, most of it is. I burned some cool. of the way, but. Um, I'm gonna. I'll 
when I when I reach, so I'm gonna bonus action. Uh, sorry, action dash. Yeah. And I'm going to move into the long. Uh, in, in, well, when I start to get towards it, I'm going to long jump to try and get as far as I can. Vengeance F is activated. Ah. One, two. Uh, so yeah, make an athletics check for the elite. Natural twenty. Whoa. No. <laughs> You can jump, um, I'll say with a natural 20, you can jump for the rest of your movement, which is 20 feet into the bush. And then I will move whatever I've got left with my movement to just wade through. And that's, I'm that's, that's all going movement. towards... That's it? Cool. Yeah, that's it. That's How far it. away is the close, closest one? Well, you've now closed the gap by 30 feet, so uh, 70 feet, roughly. Seven. Cool. Okay. And I end my turn there. Uh, okay. Opposite you, um, about, you've now managed to sort of draw parallel with Malar, who you can just about see silhouettes on the other side. Malar, you're running across the field. You saw this fireball in the sky, and another thing that's now taking your attention in the sky is you can see it looks like a shooting star across the sky. Um, perhaps a good omen, who knows? Uh, it's your turn, what are you doing? Um, I will continue to sort of stomp towards uh, Brucon and Co. So I will just just peg it, dash, go for it. Yep. Okay. So no attack of opportunity as the snakes are riding with you this time. Uh, <laughs> you, you have. Uh, so if you're Ooh, dashing, as, you. if you're dashing as well, that means you can move sixty feet in total, which will be because of portageness. Oh. Uh, Three squares, I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That's what we said last time, yeah. So you're not far behind Brina, but she's still ahead of you, so that was a good throw before you patch yourself on the back for that. Uh, bonus action? Uh, I don't. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't have anything. Uh, yeah, I'm running a low on spell slots. <laughs> I don't have anything good for a bonus. And also, I can't. I can't really see anything. No, yeah, okay. that's, that's a problem. That's fair. All right. Um, ne next are the snakes. Take a little nip at you. Oh, okay. Uh, 22 to hit. You take yeah. four points of piercing damage. Another con save, please. Con save. That is... Huh. Yeah, that's seven. Yeah. So the blessed drops. Okay. No, 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 no. The con save was poison. Oh, the con save was full of ah, poison. Ah, no, that's yes. Good point. Good concentration check. So seven. So seven. Yeah, and I'll do. So you failed that. Yeah, you failed the uh, the poison check. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine for the concentration. For the blessed yeah. drops as well. This. Oh Jesus. That didn't go well. um, okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so Malar, you feel the uh, you feel the uh, venom in your veins again. This time, they seem to have got you. They seem to have got up your body and jabbed you right in the jugular. Uh, and um, this time, you feel the effect straight away. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. This is. Uh, I need to roll a thing. This is. Uh, this is bound to happen eventually. Okay, I need to roll a D100. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, there's, there's fire. another thing I want to hear. All right. And with that, as you start... As you're running, uh, and the nipped, as soon as you feel it coursing through your veins straight away, and then suddenly you grind to a halt. Uh, you just... Your, your body locks up. You are currently stunned. And you will be for some time. Apparently. Wait, did you just paralyze the guy over Vivify? I mean, I didn't, but yes, he is currently. Well, he's not paralyzed, he's stunned. <sighs> this got real. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's someone's died. It's already real. It's even more real now, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Okay, next up. She's out. Kerr and Beach swoop down. Who's to save the day? Swoop in to save the day. And try to beat the uh, beat at the at the rogue. Wow, a two and a four, guys. Come on, you're better in the air. Yep, there. No damage to <laughs> no damage to him. They're there. Louse continues riding. Uh, Seth, you can now see uh, the this majestic. Uh, but very sturdy, strong-looking uh, uh, black horse riding in your direction. Not far away from you. Uh, okay. What's it riding? It's a horse riding on something else. Now that's sorry. a sight to see. Riding towards... I'm sorry. <laughs> horse, Word, a, horse on a, a horse on two skateboards comes at you. <laughs> a riderless horse is galloping towards you. Apologies. Oh, that would have been way cooler if it had been on skateboards. Horse though. is riding a jockey toward... Hmm. Uh... <laughs> Okay, uh, anyway, top of the round, over to the road. He uh, throws his uh, crossbow to the ground and just run and just like leans over to, to the paladin. He's like just tending to her. Like, last! Last! And shouts over to, to Edwig. Edwig, it's lost! It's lost! Come on! We need to get out of here! And you notice the, uh, the dwarf looks back at him and. He looks so annoyed because he re and he looks back at Brucon. And he's like burning rage, looking at you, like I want to hit him so much. But then concedes seeing uh, seeing his colleague, his comrade on the ground, and uh, Brucon look looks at you and goes, "We'll let her go." Like, but you got to let us go too. If you're if you're leaving, then fine. And he goes back over to. Uh, we're out of initiative for the for the moment. Uh, if, if you guys. What so. am I still? Am I still, like, bound? Well, as uh, oh. uh, as he goes over to the paladin, uh, grabs the okay. uh, grabs the slate, and you drop to the ground as it disappears. You're free. If we're out of combat, May I am I take moving an towards action? them. Uh, you can. <laughs> which, which, hang on, there were two questions breath. there. There were two uh, questions there. Uh, let's go with which, Seth which... first before we get to Neris. Um, sorry, yeah, James. If we're coming out of combat, he is still just moving towards that rogue. Sure, you yeah, don't want to I... jump on the horse. No. No, I'm in in rough terrain. I'm faster than the horse. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, if you're full, if you're bonus action and action dashing, then for you that's 90 feet. So divide that by four. You can move. But well, how 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 much more of tough rough terrain do I have? Quite a bit more. Uh, you know, another with that movement, it, um, 50 feet or so. Then I action, I bonus action dash, normal okay. move, and I am going to buy the crossbow at the rogue. Okay. He has three quarters cover as he's bending over uh, to, to attend to his, his downed colleague, but go for it. 23. Yeah, that'll hit, 23. AC of 21 with three quarters cover, so yeah. Good call. Twenty-one damage. Okay, he's gonna he uncanny dodges <laughs> that because that would have been disastrous. Um, Can you see me? Um, I still want oh. to do stuff. No, you're quite right. You're quite right. He can't see you, so um, you're in the you're in the bushes. So no, he he goes down with that bolt in the back. Ah! Collapses to the ground. The dwarf like picks up his great axe and looks around like. You said you'd let us go. I said I would let you go. I am really not in a position to speak for my uh, compatriots right now. I don't know if you've noticed. Got your spot Neris for all of us. Fire for you. Finally, do Neris something. Go. Yeah, Neris, yes. Go. They're crying out loud. There you <laughs> go, Neris. Go. Full on fireball. I just get up. Just full on fireball on the remaining 
person's buttocks and the rest of them also as well. Right. And uh, okay. Uh, that means that Kerr and Beak will need to make deck saves as well. <laughs> yeah. I don't Good care. I don't know them. They're nobody to me. Okay. You could. You, you could you spend can, a sorcery you can point. Careful. Yeah, you could spend spend a sorcery point so they automatically pass. They'll probably still die. <laughs> fine. Fine. No, no, I'm, I'm, look, look, you, it's your character, you, you do you it. You don't know them, so it's perfectly legit to say, well, I don't know them. They might, I mean, it's you true. saw them, yeah. oh, I, I, you I would probably, have seen I them pelting the them helping. I, Yeah. I saw, I saw them helping, so spend one sorcery point to allow them both to automatically succeed okay, on the saving just, throw. So it, um, the two of them who are down, uh, obviously but they smolder and burn because they're, they're unconscious. Um, the dwarf, death save, oh. Oh, okay. Natural one. <laughs> Natural one. Roll your roll your damage. Uh, so that was a shit roll. I will expend one more sorcery point to do empowered spell. Okay. For the three that I just rolled. Okay. That's much better. So that's thirteen plus hmm. another thirteen. Hmm. So it's two more. Yep. Seven. So that is thirty-three, if I'm not mistaken. Thirty-three. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly um, what I called earlier. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but he failed. Eight, he probably, failed this but... time. He failed this time, so sixteen. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. More potent this time, so. Yeah. So uh, Brucon's like stood there with one finger out in the middle of a conversation with this guy. At which point. Like all of the firepower just swings in and hits him and goes. Oh, did we, was that who did we lose there? Was that DK? Oh, it was James. Cool. Um, and anyway, so, so like Brookon's kind of mid conversation and then lots of explosions happen and he kind of pauses yeah. and goes. Uh, if, if, sorry, can you speak up a bit? <laughs> like I, said, I can't speak for my uh, companions. However, I might possibly be able to convince them to uh, hold off um, and go and sort of like leans back and. Um, as he's goes. saying that, Nerys draws her sword as well. I draw another crossbow bolt. Uh, well, I'm I, in I this think, with Nerys. Uh, I think uh, you, we're kind of still in, in initiative at, at this point. In, it, well, well, well did, we're taking turns. You did say we weren't. No, we weren't. Would I think we're going to have to go back action, in because this is. This would it be a bonus before. action to? It'd be a bonus action to, to draw my sword now. Um, you can do it in three. It's fine. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, rather than going into All initiative, right. I think we'll just take it in turns, like free flowing in, in this bit. So he uh, obviously rounds, turns around, glaring at you, who's just um, fireballs his downed companions. Uh, and oh shit! It's you said they automatically succeed the uh, the other two, uh, Kerr and B. Oh, yeah. they are not in a good place. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even with half damage, they're like, yeah, they're, they're like limping around. It's like scenes from bloody scenes from Platoon. It looks like, or just you know, Nam war films <laughs> after a napalm strike. They're just in all kinds of. Sorry, things. sorry, birds. Brina, I'm, I'm Brina, thinking... when she sees this, uh, she's going to ignore the fighting. She's going to run to Kerr and Beak and try to like pat the flames out and try to. Help. <laughs> you, can, yeah, you can do that so, while, while that's happening. Egg, uh, the, the dwarf. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, so Brucon's response to this, you, you're, you're free to sequence it what, in whatever way seems to make the most sense to you, but Brucon's response to all of this is to go, right, uh, lean back, cup his hands to his mouth and goes, this is Brucon, uh, a quick time out, possibly. Sounds good. And then um, kind of looks around and, and sort of gets ready to duck the next blast of arcane energy that comes winging its way into... So you, can, you look round, and what you see on the battlefield, you can see um, you can see a hatless Seth running through the, uh, the thicket with his crossbow out uh, in your direction, charging that way. You can see um, you can see Malar frozen in place uh, in the in the dense bushes, um, and you can see far off in the distance uh, the horse and cart and the Oberyn uh, sat astride uh, the horse. You can't see. You can't see the others. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you can see the enemies in front of you. And you can see Brina dashing towards the uh, the two Arakokra, yeah, yeah. uh, and that's that is about it cool. at the moment. Well, over to everybody else on that yeah, one. See how they react to, to that. So, um, sorry, one second. Let me just get the correct 
correct music for this moment. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, you uh, shout that out to the rest of the group. The dwarf um, kind of raises his back, his, his great axe in the air. In It seems in surrender, like his hands are up in the air, but the, the great axe is between them. Um, and he said, like, look, please don't, don't do it. Can I go next? Can I go next? You can go next, yeah. Um, can I? Uh, but I want to go next. He, is, he says, don't do it, and then he whistles. Your turn. Naris, go ahead. All right, all right. Uh, I, I changed my mind about the sword, so can can I put that away? Is that an action, or that's a... What, what is that? Oh, you can just put it away as a free what action. Do? That's fine, yeah. Okay, yeah. And how far away from me is he? I can't see. Yeah, fair point. He is... Uh, he's 15... No, uh, yeah, 15 feet from you. And Kerr and Beak are... 20, directly 20 behind him, or uh, yeah, there's there's a there's a dying rogue between them. Uh, well, I am going to take because they're twenty five feet. So if I take five a five foot step back, they're out of range, right? For a thirty foot attack. Uh, am I right? I want to step back enough. Thirty foot area. I'm going. To, it's thirty yeah. feet in front of me. Yeah, is that the range, or is that just the area of effect? Is that that is that is the there is the that is the area of effect that I'm casting okay, again okay, as our Okay, yeah, I'm with you. So actually, so just you'd a line. You'd have to get Bru- you'd have to get Brukon to step back with you to get him out of the blast Brukon, area. Brukon, you step back. Here's the, just, just, just like, that. Yeah, Brukon, <laughs> Brukon's kind of like whoa, and and just immediately like zooms back uh, a, a good 10, 15 feet. Yes, and I I cast again as our scorcher at. Mr. Mr. Man. Oh, ah, yes, thirty foot line got you at the uh, yeah. yeah at the dwarf. Okay, um, so is that a roll to hit? Deck, save, deck saving throw. Deck save. Deck save. Yeah, fair enough. Fourteen. Fourteen because it's uh, oh actually no, the third level is the same. Second level. I'm doing. Oh, that's a fail. Yeah. So that is three D eight. Let me just gather my D eights because I haven't used them in a while. While. <laughs> like, while. What do they look like even? No, uh, that's a D ten. Where where is my? There it is. You know when you look for your D eight and it you just keep finding your D ten or D four and it's just not doing the thing. Anyways, so it's not, I have them. Just not doing the thing. That is 15. 15 points of damage. Nice. Yes. Again, he kind of shrugs it off. Because he's so annoying like that. But uh, but yes, uh, definitely hits. Um, is he looking at least a bit ropey? Oh, he's looking, oh, he's looking significantly burnt and charred. Uh, most of his fur, probably his it. furs that he was wearing, his tribal <laughs> furs have been burned away. It's he bald. <laughs> Basically, he's still got his, he's still got bits of his beard left, but it's uh, the greenish tinge to his beard has been replaced mostly with uh, blackened char. Excellent. Uh, okay, um, so that happens, and you uh, can hear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can you hear from uh, you hear from from the sky. You hear a hear a the cry of an eagle and swoops over uh, toward in the direction of the dwarf yeah uh, anyone else doing anything uh, I feel like yeah. I can't do anything else again to, until someone else goes I feel uh, like well Nerys hog- has just hogging. been so you can you can certainly do something yeah you can keep, keep yeah, I feel like I'm hogging the murder let's let some of the non-murder people do something and then I'll murder I'll, I'll do something uh, Malar falls over. <laughs> yeah, this is, good. I love, this is going to be interesting to find out what this involves. Still, still stunned, of course. Um, oh, uh, that's that's the prompt for Brucon to bez it over towards him. I think that's I, it. I sh- Bru- should Brucon's say, been actually, focused on. While you're while you're stunned, you have been nipped at again. I've just rolled twice with advantage, but I think only one of. Does an eighteen hit? Uh, yeah. Okay, so two hits in which case. Uh, okay, you only took three points of piercing damage from those two 
as these snakes are still coalescing around you uh, and uh, just yeah taking great chunks out of you now that their prey has been stunned and stopped. I think there might be something wrong with the like the D and D Beyond expansion thing because it's still showing Malar is on forty hit points. Incidentally, just dropped below. Five. I, I I haven't taken too many hits. Okay. But yes, you Can notice Malar that Malar is throw? frozen in place. It's not moving. Do, do I get saving throws on this stun effect? No, sorry. No, you don't currently. I'm so sorry. Right. Uh, Malar, Malar toppling over. Like So Brucon's been focused on the immediate situation up until yeah. this point with Bounty Hunters. Just drop the camera. He now, with, with everything else going on he's uh, and you know the, the kind of immediate threat a bit um uh diminished he looks around and clocks malar falling over and so brucon is now gonna sprint at max speed towards malar because sure. malar is base malar is where is is um he's malar's team mum that, that no more exp- mum, mum is mum's looking unwell that no further explanation needed so roll a, roll uh, a d4 brucon Sure, and he's happy to spend his last key point to augment his speed, yeah, jump yeah. distance, etc. Did you oh, say D four? D four, please. Please roll better than last time. Four. That is better than last time. Four. The boots kick back into life momentarily. Uh, so now you're, you've got boots of speed benefit um, for this as well. So you're. Pew! How far can you get? Uh, well, if if Brucon dashes. Yep. Uh, and uses a key point to step of the wind for another dash. His max speed would be uh, two hundred and forty feet. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. With the with the thicket and stuff in the way, and because you step of the wind, you can leap as well, which will clear a lot of it. Um, and you can get to Malar. That's fine. You can get to Great. And then, then as soon as Brukon can, he's going to look at what's going on with Malar, um, and. Uh, if he if he clocks the snakes, he's going to do whatever he can to just clear them away. But the other thing he's going to do is um, chuck a healing potion down him as soon as he can. Okay, sure. Um, uh, so yeah, the snakes clearly uh, are hostile to your presence. As you try to feed him a a, uh, a healing potion, they start to nip at you. Up to you if you want to attack them or jet the potion down. Potion. Okay, potion in. Uh, Attack of opportunity. You get the potion in, and then one pesky snake comes out of Malar's sleeve and nips you in the hand, rolling a natural 20. Um, so it does go in, the potion goes in, you can roll the health, the healing potion, but the attack of opportunity does hit, uh, and you take seven points of piercing damage and have to make a constitution. Yeah, save. yeah. So Malar gets. Whoop. Um, uh, eight hit points back, but rather more crucially, I'm really hoping that magical healing potion effects have some kind of counteraction, uh, you know, some kind of uh, restorative effect in relation to the stun. And then there's a constitution save, uh, 17. 17, okay. Um, yeah, you, you feel the vein that managed to beat it back. Times. <laughs> in the, the adrenaline coursing through your veins and the speed at which you got over to him, you almost just ignore the, the bite and the venom and just, just shrug it off. Malar, you can speak falteringly uh, as the potion is put down you, um, but your your eyes are all over the place. Um, if you imagine, like, in a cartoon star with spirals in his eyes, it, it, he's, it, he, he seems to be having an out-of-body experience. Um, you... Uh, Shell shocked as much as anything else. Mala, you're suffering short term madness, is what the uh, the stun effect has been caused from. So you're you're kind of you're, you're shaking, but you can't you can't move. And as I said, speak from a snake bite. Yeah. And oh yeah, snake. yeah, I've 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 had those many. Oh wait, the snakes. Oh, I see. Okay, sorry. Thought you were talking about something else there. Um, and. Uh, I mean, um, other people obviously can act because I mean we're kind of in initiative, but kind You'd of not right thing. now. But but um, so you know, Brucon's got other stuff he, he would like to do, but it doesn't really make sense to just kind of like big flurry of action. So sure. other people want to do stuff. You're, you're tending to Malar, Brina. You're tending to um, Kerr and Beak. <laughs> yep. Seth. Um, uh, and run and uh, kill. Neris run and kill. And Leo. How, how 
before before Seth gets to him right away, do I have time to cast another again as our scorcher? Do I? Do you? Um, between well, if I, I, there are all spell slots, I, I would say if I move if, and bonus dash, would I be next to him? Because I'd just fire a crossbow bolt. Uh, you wouldn't know uh, with a with a just a bonus in it. Even with an action, you'd still need another because you're still getting through the weeds to get to him. Then um, okay. you're, you're you fine there, so shot, I'm going to be firing a crossbow. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. go for it. Is, is anyone next to him? Just uh, his dead comrades and um, Kerr and Beaker 10 feet from them. I'm oh, sorry, they're sizzling remains. Yeah. I mean, well, they might I still be 18. alive, but they're definitely unconscious. 18 to hit. I rolled really. an 18, so he, he takes 12 damage. Nice. Uh, and I've gone uh, sixty surely... feet towards him. Yep. Now now surely... it's myself. Right. Sorry. Go ahead. The ones that have been in the way of my previous again as our scorcher and my fireball are about to fail their final death save. Um. You said you moved thirty feet back because you just wanted to. You just wanted to get him. I. I thought. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. No. I thought that the rogue boy was in front, not behind. Never mind. No, no, he's behind. So uh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Um, but you can do another scorcher right. if you want to. If I step a little bit further forward, we'll also get, get the rogue, but not the Eric Cockers, because I can't yes, see the one more, map. one more, one more will do. Yeah, you can do that. Yes, okay. I'm doing that. Casting it. Burn, baby, burn. I'm just singularly nervous at this point. It's just singularly consumed with making it rain fire on this one, on this one group of people. I just like imagining this one barbarian in the middle and then from either side is Seth and Neris that just fire, 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 fire. Yeah. It's uh, like so Boromir so, 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 with Agnes, Agnes Sculpture's uh, dexterity saving throw, so here we go. Uh, what's the DC? Uh, uh, no, he'll fail. 14. 12, that'll fail. Damage time. Is he just standing there and taking it? He the the um, he's is... actually he's actually going to grab the uh, the other two. Uh, he's going for the rogue first yes. to grab him, as this is happening. Twelve, twelve. 12. Oh, like he's just melted. Like, you've melt all of the fur from the back of him, and now it's just bare flesh. And you can see that that's getting burnt and and scalded. Well, not scalded, but just it's like melting off in the skin's coming off of him as he's <laughs> heaving the rogue, and he now heaves the rogue onto the eagle as it lands next to him he kind of wheels round to grab uh, t to grab the paladin he's now attempting to get her on but you'll have another action you guys before he can get the paladin up onto the up onto the bird uh, as this giant eagle lands uh, just alongside him meanwhile the obrin at your end uh, you'll have a couple of rounds just with you because you can see from your elevated position fleeting look prone on the ground unconscious uh, he, he, you saw Seth heave him out of the water and then Seth, like full of rage, ran through into the field, but now you can see emerging from the water are more of these snakes going for the lifeless form of, of Fleeting Look. What is wrong with these snakes? Uh, um, we killed that mama. We, we did, but she started it. <laughs> um, yep. It's fair. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess savoring, well, what are they going to do with a dead body? <laughs> they can't, they can't give him more death saves. It's true. Revivify will bring him back as before. Uh, is, is there anyone else who's a problem or have we dealt with all the... Well, the only other thing that would be a problem would be the the, um... the eagle. Oh, it was okay. So there's the eagle, but then there's also the remaining bits of plant growth that haven't been blasted out of existence that would hinder um, rescue efforts and so on. That's the only other thing that occurs. Equally, yeah, unless eagle. unless Seth flagged it, you m may not be able to tell that Fleeting's actually dead. He's certainly unconscious on the ground and not moving, but. I don't know if you go, well, so, he's, he's not going to die anymore. I'll just let the snakes do, do their thing. Perception check to see if 
it's a perception check to see if Leo can see if he's breathing yeah, or not. Yeah, let's let's go with a let's go with a perception check. That sounds good. Okay. I thought I thought we had new, I don't know. Have we got Mala coming on the way? Because that would imply no, he, we knew he was done. dead. He was stunned before that. That went horribly wrong because you're good at con saves. So uh, the dice, that's the way it goes. Um, Perception twelve. I'll say with a twelve, you, the only thing that you may, may think is slightly out of the ordinary is the fact that Seth left him, like on the ground when he was like he fished him out the water and just left him there, uh, and ran off. Like that, that seems unusual, but you can't tell just from looking at Fleeting from this distance, especially under his armor and everything, in the heat of the moment, whether he's breathing or not. Okay. Uh, but they are out of the growth, aren't they? If I yep. think if I remember the rap correctly. Yep, yep, that's right. Uh, um, Reginald, over to the floppy tiefling. Um, <laughs> Oh, no. I'm gonna ask Reginald to to head towards Fleeting, floppy Fleeting, uh, and then I guess ready in action yeah, to try okay. and yoink Fleeting up onto the cart when we get near him. Because yeah, he's, I don't know he, what time I don't know what initiative Reginald will have, but I'm guessing <laughs> it's not the same as mine. No, he's he's sort of bottom of the initiative, uh, so you you'd be before him. But yeah, I'll hop to into the I'll hop into the cart at the back so I can like try and grab fleeting uh and yeah as he sort of dashes past um it's a bit unstable in the cart over this uneven terrain but you can try to grab fleeting look um so i'll say for and this, i'll yell expletives at, i'll yell expletives at the snakes um uh, tell them to, can, to f off make a dexterity check just as you go to grab him because you're leaning out the cart we want to make sure you don't you know that you can flat deck hold on nothing else uh yeah, for this. Uh, or acrobatics, actually, if you're trained. Snap. Okay. Uh, 14. Yep. I'll say 14 is enough. You can hoist him. I mean, you you lose your footing for a moment, but manage to catch yourself and then heave him over. There's co- a couple of snakes come with him and have latched onto his uh, onto his flesh. You can just brush them aside as you get him onto the, onto, onto the thing and leave them in your dust as you get, carry on, carry on with the cart. Now you, you've got him with you, you can see he's not breathing. Uh, he's gone very turquoise. He's he's so. dark. He's a more uh, yeah. He's a darker blue than he was before. Dabba dead, dabba die. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> nice, good, great, but also yikes. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. so meanwhile, um, Seth and Neris, you can you can take other other attacks while Leo Brin. The murder train can, continues. What, yeah, if that's can, what, if that's what you can I get into melee? You you can. It will take your action bonus action movement to get there though. How far away are they? Are it's, it's because you're like going. It's because you're going to. Well, it's because you're going diagonally as well. Um, you you were crossing a bit of terrain which hadn't had anything burned away uh, across the, the nearest side to me, whereas the far side had quite a lot more burned up by burning hands. Can I not have moved towards time. an area that's been burned away so I don't? Spend actually, all t- uh, well, no, that would be out of your way. But I will tell you what you can do, Seth. Actually, if you want, James, roll a, a, a uh, athletics check because you can try and leap. Um, through the, the, the weed to try and, you know, get yourself out of it and get yourself further. Uh, what was that? Athletics or acrobatics? Athletic. Uh, athletics, please. Athletics. Cool. That's a plus one. That's 14. 14. Okay, so you, you can leap um, and clear some of it. That does help help you get through, through the weeds. So I'll say in which case then... You can use. You can get there with just the use of either your bonus action or your action. I'm guessing bonus action, so you can have an action still. Bonus action. Yeah. So can I get into melee? You're in melee. Yep. Uh, with my rapier, I'm going to stab the shit out of that barbarian. Okay. Make an attack roll, please. Natural twenty. Oh. Fuck him. Fuck him in his back. All right. So as he as he uh, 
Uh, you don't need to roll the damage because I've, I've got the fair. He's not idea raging of this. now. Um, as he heaves uh, the paladin up onto the the eagle, describe to us how you slay uh, the uh, the dwarf or how you subdue the dwarf. As I, is he facing towards me or away from me? He's facing away from you. As he's facing away, I'm going to throw my rapier up in the end and catch it so that the point is coming that way and I'm going to stab down into his back and I'm going to yell you killed Slayton as I stab straight down right into the back of his neck down his spine and you hear the kind of sickening crack uh, Brucon, Brina, Neris uh, as Seth plunges full of rogue rage uh, <laughs> plunges his rapier into into this individual um in his dying breath you hit him go fly taps the, ah, the giant ah. eagle and falls to the ground and the eagle no up. no Maris, i go. still have something to do no, i no, have no, still yeah, go, something no no no, to I'm do. Just, no i'm just setting the scene you go ahead is, don't, don't worry i won't miss you out <laughs> do anything this is happening that. yeah so no no so, bonus action, cast Spectral Blade. What? And... <laughs> what? So, bonus action, cast... Sh sorry, Shadow Blade. That's oh, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Spectral Blade. No, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Ooh, how far away am I? 30 feet. Uh... Oh! Because yeah, of your... That is my that is my movement, isn't it? Yeah. So I can get within melee. Uh, you'll have to go through the the, the weeds, so it would be you'll, it would be. Okay, movement. never mind. I throw it. I throw, yeah, throw it right throw at it. the eagle. Okay. I wanted to do that before. <laughs> I, I thought so. I was just so. like, can I get closer and stab please, it? Please, please but... let me hit it. Uh, roll, roll to hit. Let me please. stab it. Oh my god! Can I stab the bird? The, remind me, the range with shadow blade is it twenty feet or thirty feet? Doesn't... 20 feet and then uh, 60 feet long range. Yeah. That's what, yeah, so, so it will move, be with disadvantage. Move 10 feet. Right there. So if you could roll. Move, okay. move 10 feet closer. Two. Because of the okay. weeds. You know, I, I, well, more, I, can, so. I, can, I can move 10 feet closer now with my because, movement. Because of the, diff the really difficult terrain, you can only move. Every foot is 4 feet. So with 30 feet of movement, you can move one square. 5 feet. Oh. Yeah, 5 feet. Oh, wow. Grow it. Grow it. I didn't make the plant grow. It's not my fault. <laughs> uh, but yes, you can 17. Seven, 17. 17 still hits. I was going to be, if it's going to be anything less than, than something that hits, I'm going to throw this through the window. I'm extremely emotionally involved in this. Oh, wow. Don't do okay. that. It's pretty. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> Go ahead. What's your damage? I, I don't even know. I just it's, <laughs> it's it'll be it's two d six psychic damage uh, for the shadow blade. Two d eight. Uh, no, sorry, two d eight. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. And then presumably you would add your uh, dexterity modifier to that. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, well, whichever's higher out of strength or dex, but I think for you it's well, probably dex. I'm going to. Expend another meta magic point to reroll that, okay. if I may. Is that? Does that? I suppose it's a spell, Shadow Blade. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm extremely pleased with that. That is 14. Nice. 14 points of damage. Nice. Psychic damage too. Oh, Psychic, Psychic damage. Psychic damage. The eagle <laughs> shrieks, but still uh, maintains its composure. With its talons, it grabs the. Uh, an owl dead dwarf with the rapier still in it and Seth behind the rapier grabs him and then starts to ascend um Seth, do I get an you? opportunity back? you're not well you're okay we specified your rapier's plunged into the uh the guy but you can certainly with one of your other weapons I'm I'm, oh, I'm not I'm not leaving the rapier in no. like I stepped him then pull out huh. yeah. so can I yeah so can uh, I have it with the rapier 
I'll say, yeah, go on then, yeah. I was, I was going to make you roll roll to, like, you know, slight panic, but you know what? No, it's fine. You remove it, you slayed him, go for the eagle. Uh, ten on the dice, so that's eighteen. Yep, hits. Is there a sneak attack? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many people are around us. Uh, nobody what? else is alive. There's so many unconscious. Con- well, nobody else is conscious within five feet of you, so yes, you get sneak attack, swashbuckler. Holy hell, that's not the best. Um, four. Uh, 18 damage. Okay, that, that's enough. Describe to us how you uh, slay the giant eagle. God! I was Give very me. precise with my barbarian attack for this one. <laughs> I'm not really ready for an eagle, so now it's... And I'm still holding the, the thing that way, so it's kind of just... <laughs> is, is, Seth's, is Seth's next level going to multi-class into barbarian? Is he just going to go jump around and pick up a level of every class in the game? Oh, I'm yeah. Dear God. Raging bar- yeah, raging so this, so this, this one's not quite as elegant and good a kill. This one's more just to stab the air lots of times because I'm holding my rapier wrong and I don't really know what I'm doing with this way. So this uh, giant eagle, rather majestic looking creature, Brina, you've never seen the likes of, of it before um, but read about it in books and as you're tending to the other two, you see it with these uh, two prone figures on it and then a third in its talons as it goes to try and leave. Seth, the nimble mer elf, pulls out his rapier and uh, slices it open and it crashes to the ground. Uh, alongside you, and you can see Nerys there smouldering behind as this all cra- as this all crashes in the foreground. In the background, there's the uh, silhouetted flaming form of, of Nerys. Uh, eyes light like up in the darkness. One more thing. Okay. And I yell, Seth, move! I don't know, I hope Seth moves. And you all heard him okay. shout about fleeting. Hi, Nerys. Hi, Nerys. So. Nerys. Jump to the side. Yeah. Yeah, and I cast Burning Hands onto the unconscious. Like, just in a complete fury, I will barbecue their corpses. Okay. They are going to burn. No death saving for throws. Nobody's coming back. They are dead. Yep, yep, that's, uh, that's, that's happened. Yep. Yep, that, that happens. Uh, no recurring yeah. rival role for these guys. They are gone. Blackened, uh, the blackened charred remains uh, of the skeleton. Beyond the identification. Skeleton. Yeah. Once Brina makes sure that uh, they are not going to be in flash and dice free. Nervously going to hide behind Brucon. Sure, you can go over to Brucon. He's tending to Malar. Um, yeah, I'll help him then. Yeah, but I'm. Yeah, whatever. Very intimidated yeah. by this, the two raging people right now. <laughs> As, is um, there the, the slab of the thing that trapped me? Do I find it on their bodies if I go towards them? Yeah, it's one. Of, it's the like the only thing that hasn't burned up because it's a magical item. It, it it's. Uh, is I'm going to go phase. pick it up. Cadence's graphite slate is is what you heard it called. You'll need to spend some time with that item to work out how. Don't to worry, we'll it. hang out. We'll hang out. We'll grab a drink. It's fine. But you can get that. Um, let me just see if there's. I don't think there's much else on them that that you may want. Um, great axe. Uh, he was not that um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> most of it would have burned up. They didn't really have many magical items. That was their big thing. Was that that? Um, mm. Yeah, that carbonite. <laughs> Frozen in carbonite. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah. That is basically what it does, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that's yeah. That was their their big thing. But uh, you do find a couple of uh, you do find you do find three potions. Two you recognise as healing potions, and one um, isn't a healing potion. Then you, Neris, and Seth probably wouldn't know what it is. To be fair. Well, I I take issue. the graphite slab, put it away, and then with these potions, I look around and try to see who needs it most. And, and think, oh, I want to take this weird one to Malar. He'll know what it is. How's Seth looking emotionally at this point? 
bit exhausted. He did, like, he screamed out as he killed him. You killed Fleeting, so hopefully everyone is aware Fleeting is dead. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's what I was thinking. And so, running back towards Malo. So, probably with Neris, or ahead of Neris, because I can run as far as. Alright, so I'm I'm gonna actually, can we do something? I'm gonna run towards, because I still have some spell slots left. How much of this foliage is still up between Fleeting and us? Let's go Agent Orange on this plant growth. Well, uh, yeah. Leobrin has now taken up uh, Fleeting into, his, into the cart, although without him telling you that, I guess you wouldn't know, but you can see the cart, uh, horse and cart, moving uh, in your direction through through the thicket, moving relatively slowly. Uh, how ooh, how much there is? Like, I want to I want to do some gardening here, oh. fire style. Oh, I mean, the, the whole thing was like 150 feet long, um, but the carts may be may, 70 feet away, so you, you'd have to, yeah, burn about 70 feet's worth of stuff. So a couple of fireballs will clear it up. Uh, I don't have those anymore. Oh. But you can you can change spells yeah. into other spells. Yeah, you've got the okay. meta magic stuff. You can convert sorcery points uh, into spells if you need to. That's I I don't have that many mm-hmm. sorcery points left. I don't have enough. Don't have enough for it. Um, uh, I can have a scorcher. So do... foot line is pretty useful. I can have a scorcher would clear yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, but I, I've used all those spell slots. So How many got... ones do you have? Uh, I've got three ones. Burning hands. Turn them into turn them into second levels, and you can fire two Agzar scorchers. So three slots can turn into two second level. Uh, those three so level one level. slots are two spell points. And a level two spell is three spell points. So you turn three of them, oh, okay. so three times two is six, yeah. and then that will be two level two spell slots. Okay, easy, so zap, done. Zap, run, zap. So, yeah, so I'm gonna fire. Well, can can I see the map? I I want to see. Oh, it's okay because the map wasn't to scale anyway because of the, the okay. distance off the map. Because uh, there's Fits the whole me. getting to Malar. Is Malar in the thicket? He is, yeah. He's near. He, in fairness, he's not too far away from one of your uh, from one of your fireball blast uh, areas. And I did quite a bit there as well. With burning yeah, and Breen is there yeah. too, so she could, between the two of you, could probably clear a path mm-hmm. to each other. Uh, Brina does want to. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You go ahead. Uh, Brina does want to do something before when when she hears that Fleeting is dead. She wants to grab her wand and say, Keith. Keith, you need to help us right now. Okay. Make a religion check, please. Oh, I'm good at that. Plus eight slowly that. running out of time. It's been four to five turns since the fleeting went down. That's yeah. good, that's good. Uh, 18 last... on the die plus eight, so that's 26. Nice. Damn. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you yep. now. Yep. Yeah, we got yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I lost audio. I think my, my little earbuds lost the, uh, I have no more battery. Uh, poor. It's Anyways. Fire. Right, uh, fire. Which way should I point it? Uh, okay, so you, if you want to clear up, I would say probably clear a path to the cart because uh, the Malar's not too far away from a cleared area from one of your fireballs okay. earlier. The cart Towards means, the cart. Yeah. That's what it's I'm happening. Doing. Okay, so you're doing that. Meanwhile, Brina, yeah, you've asked for help from uh, mm-hmm. from Keith. Your wand lights up blue. No presence appears before you, but you do. You don't see him, but you feel a hand touch you on the shoulder, just gently on the right hand shoulder. You can feel the uh, rest of his arm as well, just around your just around your back, and just very softly in your ear here. Everything has to go sometime. Why is this? Why there's more than one of you? Because we're all gonna die one day. But he can start done. We need to do this together. That's true. But I'm, I know you lot can figure this out. Oh, but your friend here. <laughs> yeah. He's he's not looking great, is he? Let's be honest. Uh, can you, you know, wake him up at least? Uh, 
I can, or at least I can give you the means to. That's 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 for certain. In fact, you already have the means to do so. If uh, the uh, you know the scary fire lady over there, well, she's just picked up a potion, and if I'm not mistaken, that was a potion of lesser restoration. So that should hopefully bring your friend, uh, bring the uh, the elephant man back, and then you know he's one of those clerical types. I think. Somebody else brought the means. His best friend brought the means, and maybe you can save him. But you've got to be fast. Okay. He doesn't have long. But this, I'm holding him here in the meantime. He's uh, he's quite happy, but if you do need to bring him back, you'll have to be quick. He wouldn't want to leave his best friend, I'm sure. Wouldn't want to leave his hat either. That, that much is true. That too. I'll get it for him. All right. Thank you, Keith. Okay. And I'll just turn around and I'll forget that I'm intimidated by Nerys. And I'll just run up to her. Hi. That green potion? Oh. That can Hello? save him. Okay. But have it. Yes, do it. Thank you. I'm Sparkle, <laughs> by the way. No, I'm, ne I'm, I'm Brina, not, by the way. Not the time, Brina. <laughs> okay. I'm go, 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 go. Get Malor we'll run back. Why is Malor asleep? Um, Malor, um, wake up. Oh, uh, this will wake him, this will wake him. And I'll just uh, go down to Mela, who has healed me several times now, and I'm just happy that I get to do it in return. And I'll pour it down, like, try to lift his trunk, it's too heavy. Can someone help me? Uh, Neris yeah. is gonna run to help. Cool. And when that's out of the way, I'll pull. Okay, action. team strength check for raising <laughs> Mela's trunk. Trunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like okay. the... Okay, you, you get it. You you put the potion into his mouth, and uh, Malor, on the, the senses come. Well, while that's all going on, Brucon yep. is going to, uh, having been bitten by one of these friggin' snakes, Brucon, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of going, okay, dealing with magical nonsense and poison and stuff, that's not my bag. But I have been a university student and done some very stupid things in that time, so this is not my first rodeo here when it comes to clearing out a snake infestation and that is what I'm going to do so Brucon goes about yeah, sounds sort good. of trying to tear away the other snakes Brina kind of yells over her shoulder get me some venom and continues on uh, priority Brina, you also notice when you look at when you regard Brucon now up after after Keith presented himself to you and touched, touched you on the back um, felt a weight lifted your heart was felt lighter now and when you regard Brucon at this point you no longer feel the attachment that you felt obliged to earlier. You're no longer in love with Brucon unless you want to be. Huh. Well, he's still cool, but, you know, regular cool. It's okay. <laughs> You're goddamn right! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so... Uh, you, uh, yeah, you get the potion down Malar. Malar, your feeling comes back into your hands. Suddenly you can, you can move again. Uh... As the venom is driven oh. from you. <clears throat> oh, uh, Hi, oh goodness! I, uh, oh, what's oh that was I, uh, oh, hmm, you that okay? was not fun. I'm uh, no, I've oh, been oh, better. Get up, get up, get up, get what? up, get oh, up, Mr. Fleeting, Seth, fleeting. Hello, I, what, what, what's the problem? Fleeting, here? I, uh, fleeting's dead. Get up! I, oh goodness, uh, man, I will get up. Uh, where is, where is he? Where, uh, when? Where? There, go, go. Can I clear the path again with yeah, more you do. scorching? You, you, in, while this has been happening, you've cleared the path with your scorch with two Agonizer scorches. You've cleared the way. I'm um, because I was like right next to Mala. I'm hanging on to him and kind of try to climb him to go along with him. Mala, okay, Keith told up. me to hang on with you, which is not true. I'll scoop but... you up onto his shoulder. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, I love it. Uh, Keith I'm said gonna go. I'm gonna go fetch Laos in the meantime. Yeah, it sounds good. You can go get Laos. He's he's in the in the woods. Trying she to hide them. She, she sorry. She thank you. She is trying to uh, trying to hide herself amongst the thicket. But you can go get her. Um, as you do so, that's fine. Uh, while this is going on, Leo Brin, you're uh, you're in the cart and you can obviously you've got fleeting there. How's Leo Brin reacting to this at this time? To, uh, to fleeting and, and the situation. I mean, it's good. Just concentrating on getting Fleeting to our 
uh, Mr. Hillbot. <laughs> uh, there's no, there's no time for panic. There is. Keep cool heads. Yeah. Deliver the body to the holy man. Okay. The cart. It, it's difficult getting across the. It was never the fastest anyway. Getting through, as you know, from, from you guys traveling for a few, like an hour or so through this. Uh, yeah. This well, section, but. Yeah. It's easy now. Was going to go. Did, was going to go round, but if if Neris is burn, burning a path, then we'll go through. Yeah. Uh, um, and Malar, yeah, you're charging towards him with Brina and Brucon in tow. Well, Brucon's sorry, slightly behind, dealing with the snakes. You do deal with them, Brucon. You know, over the over the over that time. Um, and Seth alongside Malar as well, of course. Um, yeah, charging over there. You do get you get to Fle- uh, to Leobrin and pleating at the cart. What do you um, I will, I will. I guess I see that fleeting is in the back of the cart. Yep. We'll go to him. Briefly check for a pulse to ensure that yes, actually, it's dead. Um, upon <clears> ascertaining <throat> that, pull out the hefty crystal from the vest that Malar wears. Uh, onto his <laughs> chest. Thousand gold hold him. Diamond, yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> uh, blessed are the eight. By the will of Declan, I would uh, see that you return this this man's soul back back to the land of the living and uh, into the custodianship of Festir. Revivify. Come on. Everybody just keeps saying. Can't rush. Come on now, James. You can't rush good role playing. Come on. <laughs> Save him! Save him! Larys just looks on. The, uh, the diamond doesn't react at first. After a few moments, it starts to glow from within, and the glow gets brighter and brighter and brighter. The air it covers, it, it suddenly kind of explodes out in light, covering the entirety of the cart, and just for a moment, 100 feet in any direction from you, Malar. And uh, a... Um, there's a glow around fleeting look as uh, as you cast the spell and a, a beam comes from the diamond straight into him and he kind of rises for a moment l- hovering from the uh, from the cart again with this glow this this heavenly warm glow around him wow you notice that you look up to the sky and you can see that shooting star still in the sky it's getting closer though in fact, you see it fly overhead, and you can hear it. And you see it fly past your view, crash into the mountainside, and explode. In the direction you're going, um, towards the mountains, by the way, where that explodes <laughs> in the distance, and you look back, and your your int- your gut is telling you, Malar, that you may have taken this may have taken too long. You may not have been fast enough to, to save him. And the body floats back down onto the cart, still glowing at this point. And that is where we're going to leave things for today. Because I'm not continuing without Dan being here. Uh, and Or without a good reason, anyway. Because um, this is his character. <laughs> and he's, you know, been killed. <laughs> So, and you know, you find out what's been going on with him in the afterlife, and uh, and uh, with Keith, hopefully. And Neris is at this point thinking if he saw a dragon too. Oh, yes, good point. Being so, a tiefling and from a part of the world, what well, he's seen not... weird stuff. Yeah, he's seen some maybe stuff not tiefling, traveling. seeing weird stuff. Compare. So, Death experiences. Ah, uh, yes, of course. From when, from when Neris died, yes. Mm. Plus, you guys have a bit more in common than you did, than you think. But we'll touch more on that in another session, I'm sure. Halloween special. Uh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, that's it be some, Halloween. some spooks there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, Spooky. so ladies and gentlemen, we'll be discussing everything that went down in this. I'll be talking more about those three characters that are definitely dead now. Uh, <laughs> talking a Roasted. bit more about them as we built, as we uh, as we built those. Um, 
in our campaign diary on Friday here at 5 p.m. here on Twitch. Come join me for that. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for, for dressing up tonight and for just delivering on a, a horrific combat <laughs> encounter, but uh, equally uh, on a compelling roleplay uh, bit as well. It was, uh, good. That's, that's a memorable session. I'll give you that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Have a good week, everyone. And as I said, join me on Friday. If not, we'll see you next week. Have a good week. Stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye.